Hey guys, welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? So we're going to be starting a new campaign as Setra on Mortal Empires. Because that's... Seemed to be the consensus. Oh, where are we? Um, there. Legendary. Very hard. Legendary. Of course. Yeah, that's the highest it'll go. Let's do this. Building cheese incoming. Yeah, probably. But generally speaking, um, I tend to have a very bad start with Cetra. I, I've had tendencies where I um, lose against... Not lose, but I I get some degree of getting smashed by the initial green skin armies that come this way. Because... Are you sick of away 3? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Um, like, I'll go back to Warhammer 3 when the next patch comes in. Mighty Cetra, greatest of... Alright, so. Dealing with these damn greenskins that come in here. Because, yeah, they've massively overtuned these guys, the, um... The top knots. Uh, you can get over there and just, like, get a quick jump on them. Uh, okay, let's, let's start playing things out. We want to get one unit of chariots and start recruiting this, because we'll need to get some archers up in here. Alright, if we have a look at their strength ranking to begin with, I think what a lot of players do is they go straight for Zandri. But if you do that, um, usually they'll send forces to Kemri and possibly capture it, because you don't start off with a, with a whole lot of force. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's right. I was just thinking we need to get the Great Incantation of Tahoth as early as possible, but if we demolish... Hmm. Yeah, because you can go into, like, in camp stands here and then just globally recruit some stuff, but I don't think we really need to do that. Um, if you if you make a run for it over here... Like, their military presence mostly starts off this way. Why you can't confed Savage Orcs? They're technically a different race than regular Greenskins. Yeah, I'm just trying to decide whether or not I should go over to Gorgazan, because it takes three turns to get there. It's such a terrible start position whenever you're with with them. Because, like, yeah, you can make a, like, a little bit of money by sacking it, but I think it might be even better to just lure them over here. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, Alright, this is what I'm going to do. We want to get the Great Incantation of Tahoth as soon as possible. In order to activate it, we have to recruit loads of units, so I'm not going to go and do that. Okay, now, generally speaking, it's better to get the Skeleton Spears over over the skeleton warriors while the skeleton warriors do dish out more damage they're not going to get past the melee defense anyway and you're just trying to get the uh, the melee defense improvement with them hold the line as long as possible oof we didn't get this 200 subs you didn't even get close <laughs> nope you didn't even get 50 so no unfortunately not all right, and then we want to research Wisdom of the Third Dynasty, because that gives us access to this one here. Just wait two rounds and recruit. Their armies will come to you. Yeah, their armies will come this way. Let's just try to get as big as force as possible. If we can get an ambush on them, that'd be even better. But yeah, the Tomb Kings have one of the slowest starts in the game. Because, like, I'm hardwired to just, like, beeline for the first enemy and attack them. But with Cetra, it's such a trap. And they recruit just so fast. So, yeah, there's a lot of initial things that can go wrong here. And you can get a trade agreement with... Oh, I, no, I guess not. All right, no, that's okay. And then get rid of this. All right. Then we've got to try to, as quickly as possible, get some money together. Yeah, once we recruit those units, demolish the building so that we can get the Great Incantation of Tahoth. Makes a huge difference against the Greenskins. Because you need damage dealers, right? And that's the only thing you can get for it. That's awesome! 
We could beat that, assuming there isn't more coming at us. There is another army. There is another army. They're not here. Alright, so with this one here, we need to make sure that it'll actually stand and fight. Because he might be luring us into a trap. Could with uh could disband a few units. Hang on, let me just get in a bit closer. I want him to stand and fight on this first one here. We outnumber him two to one. Seven. Ooh, a tough call to make, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to weaken my army a little bit so that he'll stand and fight. Yes, good. Uh, Trom Trommeldloved Drolmai. Sorry, I didn't, definitely didn't pronounce that right. Uh, did a five dollar super chat. What I usually do is go and blow up Gorgazan to stop their recruitment there. All right, thanks for super chat, dude. Um, yeah, you could do that, but I think I'd much rather do what I'm currently doing. All right, we can order resolver, but we want to get two victories out of it. This is a this is a good start so far. Did you happen to include a mod for Tim King's Confederations? No. If I ever use mods, I will put them in the description. But generally speaking, I don't use mods. Alright, this is really good, because I think we've got a big advantage here. And we just we just need to get victories. Every victory is just... That's how we make money as the Tomb Kings, is by winning battles. Now, they've got a decent amount of cavalry. Now, of course, we don't want to get smashed, because we've got other armies in the area. Alright, I think that the Cambrian War Sphinx is... Okay, just a little bit slower than their units. These guys here, just move to the back there. Alright, we don't have to worry about um, getting hit too hard. Alright, let's go. Alright, we can get them to come at us. Uh, should we... Alright, hang on. It might seem like being a bit pedantic, but if we can waste the ammunition of the Savage Orc Arrow Boys, it will make a big difference, because they'll lose a lot of balance of power from that. Legend, have you considered using Major Overhaul to make streams different? Um, yep, I've considered it, but making streams different doesn't mean making them better, so... I've considered it, we've done it in the past, we've had bad experiences with it. Might do it again in the future, but we'll see. Do you think Nagash could be potential DLC? Um... Yeah, probably at some point. I'd be very surprised if Nagash didn't come as a DLC, because I feel like that would be like an instant money maker for Creative Assembly. And if it's one thing that I know that they care about, it's money. Nothing against that, but... I'd, I'd be very, very surprised if they didn't make Nagash. Uh, the only reason I could think of that they wouldn't make Nagash is if uh, Games Workshop told them that they couldn't. Which, again, I don't know why they would do that. Cool. They've got the high ground here, so we don't want to be charging uphill. Get back over there. They managed to do a whopping 66 damage to me. Alright, now we can use this one's missile attack to lure them over here. If we can lure the Savage Orc Boar Boys over here early, that would be... That'd be really good. That should have there, Lord. Just, how much damage has it done? Yeah, it's already done more damage than the Archer did. Okay, another thing that we can do is use our chariots to lure some of their units away, so we're not dealing with the full force of their troops. Although, if the if the um, if the Boar Boys go chasing after us, that could be a bit of a problem. All right, let's go up on higher ground. Yeah. So yeah, you know, it's getting a bit of damage with that, not heaps. No Devich run this time. Look, I'm not gonna necessarily claim that, but if we... I'm not gonna try to get any defeats. We'll just see how we go. 
The campaign won't be, you know, cancelled if we uh, do a no defeat run and fail. I'm just gonna look. I just want to just try to have fun. Let's not worry about particular challenges. You know, if we manage to get two, three episodes into this and haven't suffered a defeat, well then we'll see how we go from there. Because that's what worked best with the high off campaign, rather than saying we're going to go do no defeats from the get go. Because that's what we did with the beastmen, and people lost interest on the second episode. So, what's the point? Would have been good if we could have gotten chariot archers, but there's a tier two. I don't know what the AI is doing here. This is very silly of them. But I like it. <laughs> uh, Moldy Lunchbox321 did a 5-dollar subboot at Haylage and started a Rakaf campaign. I was wondering if you'd recommend pillaging Reichland or going straight to the donut after securing Albion. Uh, you could do either, but there is definitely benefit in going for Reichland. So maybe go for that. Makes It makes it a bit more different than the standard Dark Elf campaign. Thanks, Super Chat. I think that's the whole point of Rakath, is that it's not the same as every other Dark Elf campaign you've ever done. Shit, now they're running back. Now we got to be very careful not to lose these chariots, because otherwise we got to rebuild the building again from scratch, and that would suck, because it would cost money. Okay, swing these guys back around. Trying to get flanked too hard. Come on, come on, chariots. God damn, you're supposed to be faster than... Oh, wait, no, you're not. No, you, you are supposed to be faster. Come on, move, 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 move. Okay, we've got Cetra's magic as well. Pop that down on this one. Good, that does a ton of damage. Okay, can we try to get rid of this lord over here? Alright. I really need to get these chariots to charge into them, but they can't do that while the savage orc boars, boar boys are trying to get us. Go around this way here. Victory's in our grasp, that's good. Yeah, one of the other things with dealing with greenskins is that they heavily benefit from the uh, the difficulty modifiers because they're just full melee. If we had some archers, that would have been really helpful, but I haven't had time to recruit them yet. There we go. Finally, they got a chance to charge into the rear there. Finally. Was doing okay. Okay, you shoved your time. Shut 
Alright, there we go. I think that's the army losses. Oh wait, no it's not. Hit. Man, this one here did not do a good job against that lord. Just couldn't fucking dish out any damage. Oh man, I forgot how much of a wet noodle early game Tomb Kings is. But still, it's good that we can get another victory out of him. Might try to, try to lure him away. And run down as many of these savage orc boar, uh, boys as possible, whatever. Come on, kill him. Or keep running him in that direction, that's good as well. Yeah, away from here. <laughs> Come on. Hell, these monsters can be derpy. I don't think we're going to get him. He's too close to the uh, to the edge of the map here. Yeah, he attacks it and didn't end up doing any damage. So the only got wiped out was obviously the. Uh, Is sharp to summon. God damn. Come on, kitty cat. You need to do your value. Get in there. That's it. Kick him away from the edge. This is kind of where matched combat comes a bit more in handy. Alright, it might be a good idea to let him live, but we don't need to have him at full strength. So, one more hit. Because I don't want to wipe out the entire army, and I'm fairly sure we wiped out all their other units. One more hit. Alright, let him go, let him go, let him go. Would you say the release Legendary Lords for Warhammer 3 are better than the ones for Warhammer 2? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you got like Kairos Fate Weaver, super powerful. Um, all the demons are very powerful, except for the Demon Prince. Eh, Demon Prince is alright. Uh, Katarin's good. Boris is good. The dragons are good. Castalton is definitely the worst out of them. Oh, I could have gone and killed them. Oh, well, that's fine. Wow, look at that money. But we can go with Endless March here, or we can get Replenishment, but I'm going to go with Endless March. Alright, that's where the other army is. Alright, there's a bit of a problem with this. If I go after him, I may not make it back here. Which is... hang on. Alright, we've got a little bit of extra movement from that. Because if I go there, I'm going to have 18% movement remaining. And if I'm not mistaken, that's a pretty strong army. Yeah, so attacking that could be a huge mistake. Absolutely huge mistake. Alright, it's probably in our best interest to once again stand back over here. Yeah, better err on the side of caution, because that army there is probably strong enough to beat us. And that way we can get some of this other recruiting done, which we need to do. Okay, and then with this, don't build anything yet, because if we demolish this, we'll have enough money to get the... Uh, to get the great incantation of Tahoth. Like, I really do want to build the growth building as well. Don't worry about the money building, it doesn't generate that much anyway. Um, it costs a thousand. So if I do that, I'll. No. I'll build, we need to get this one here first, that's the most important thing. Alright, let's, uh, let's move on. Let me just see if we can do any diplomacy. Probably not. Okay. Garrison, protect him. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Alright, 
Alright, we'll see how we go with that. I'll merge some units next turn if I have to. My only concern is if they besiege the settlement, they'll cancel our recruitment, because they can definitely reach. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, mm. That being said, they'll cancel the recruitment if that happens anyway. Alright, let's just jump in. Alright, they're still raiding. One over here. Okay, they're both over here. Alright. It's fine. Recruit that one. And let's merge a couple of these guys here so we're at full strength. Alright, cool. That'll get us to full strength, allowing us to do the great incantation of the Hoth. Once we demolish this, that is. Because I still gotta recruit one more of them. Alright, cool. Just sucks you gotta sort of waste time recruiting. You just can't be aggressive, they just recruit too quickly. Women 3 worth buying right now or no? Um, I'm not gonna necessarily recommend it, but you can do whatever you want. Um, you gotta, you gotta make these decisions for yourself, but I'm not gonna recommend it. Uh, Marcus Wilfart did a ten dollars super chat. Are you able to perform the same exploit for single entity armies like you did for the Beastmen? It wasn't single entities; it was unit caps. Um, I don't think it works for Tomb Kings, but thanks for super chat. Be at war with Numas. That'll get us some money. That'll get us the money that we need. Alright, we're at full strength now. Um, how long do we have to do that? Okay, no, that's fine, because if we do this, we'll just get the unit for next turn. Okay, now we just stand, like, over here in ambush stance. Because if we have a look at their strength ranking... Oh, what happened here? The Harbingers of Disasters got at them. Alright, well, let's move over here a little bit more. And go a little bit closer. Try to get to Gorgazan. And then, yeah, get rid of this. So, hang on. That's going to give us back 1,200. I'm just concerned that if I declare war on them, they're going to send forces over here right now. Because I'm fairly sure they get access to two armies. Although... I feel like that is very short-sighted by doing that. Uh, Hippie became a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I feel like... That's very short-sighted. Hmm. Tomb Kings are a lot easier to fight than bloody these guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. This is probably probably gonna regret this, but <laughs> give me that money, okay, so that we can do this. Thoughts on Lizardmen? Have you considered another Lizardmen campaign? Um, everything's on the table, but we'll see. I I like Lizardmen. Wormer 3 is currently 40% on Steam. Recent reviews, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? Okay. So now we've got access to a Casket of Souls. But it might be in our best... See, I don't know where they are now. I don't know where they are. Military Presence of 4. Somewhere. See, a part of me wants to re-recruit some units and get experience with them, but it doesn't matter that much. It really won't make much of a difference. And being an ambush stance, if luring, luring them down here would be more useful. Now, as for um, this, we could hire it right now, but if we make ourselves seem weaker than we actually are, we could um, lure them into a trap, which is what I'm kind of do. Move on. No need to demolish the barracks now? Yeah, there is. Uh, the barracks has no value. I've already recruited all the units that I can from it. It has no other value. We demolish the barracks so we can build something else. Uh, Mandalore331 did a 
$7.57 super chat. Love the work legend. Quick question. You said before your reply every disaster, sorry, you reply to every disaster. Is that not the case anymore? No judging, just wondering. Um, look, I try to respond to all of them, but I get so many that I, I can't get to any of them. Uh, sorry, I can't get to all of them. All right, so which one do we do here? Um, it's definitely worth it to get a... Probably a Lich Priest is best. All right, what do we get? So what do we get here? Death. All right, get rid of this. All right, usually what we like to get is knowledgeable. Um, all right, so what we'll do is recruit and disband this one. Because I don't want death magic. I don't like it. But I'll... I'll try to get a, uh, a life... Uh, sorry, light one. Because light's very handy. I don't like Nehakara magic. Alright. Start trying to get a good trait there. Alright, if we're going into enemy territory, let's... I was hoping that they would get lured down here. See what happens. Maybe we can lure them into a trap. We should be able to reach there next turn. Okay, now because we demolished the building, we can go with growth, which is what we really need if we want to get this developed. Okay, moving on. But yeah, you got to be careful against the top knots. You can just get derailed straight away. You got bushed! Good stuff. Mash one finger. Okay. Uh, we should fight it manually. Yeah. Was the Beastman ended by defeat? Nope, we didn't suffer a single defeat. Uh, but people stopped watching it, so... Look, I did a poll on the channel. Um, if I bring it up. We did a poll earlier today about whether or not to continue Beastman or start something new and people heavily voted towards start something new so look I just want to make the content that you guys enjoy and based on the feedback that I got from the Beastman campaign you were kind of done with it so you know that's just how it is that's how it is I guess that people can get annoyed by that trust me I'm one of the most annoyed by, by that situation I would have loved to continue it but people just didn't want to watch it anymore so what can you do Now, I get as well that some people still wanted to watch it, but people vote as well by not attending, and that's that's a, a big concern. You know, it's very hard to keep people interested at the moment. I'm doing the best I can, but man, people are just not interested in, <laughs> in my content as much these days. I'm just doing the best I can. You could say you go defeat by viewership. Uh, yeah, if you want to say that, that's fine. Um, whatever, whatever makes you happy. It's an ambush battle, so I don't expect them to do a whole lot against us. But yeah, generally speaking, cavalry tend to charge out at you. I think that unit's coming back. It's about to run off. Alright, cool. I think it's Total War right now. I totally agree. Totally agree. 
Totally agree. But like I said, the campaign didn't perform well, even given the situation. So, you know, my hands are tied. You know. I have to make tough calls every bloody day at the moment. People are just very unsatisfied. I'm just doing the best I can. Hopefully you're enjoying the stream. And as I said before, if you don't want campaigns to end, you've got to attend, you know? I can't sustain them otherwise. Wait. I never see them recruit goblins. They're supposed to only be able to recruit savage orcs. How'd they get goblins? I don't mind, because those are obviously a lot easier to deal with than savage orcs. Do you think Mortal Empires will save Wemma 3? Maybe. It might. It might be too far gone now. I don't know. There's a good chance that it will, but there's also a possibility that it won't. I can't predict the future. Clearly, I can't. So, just we'll just have to wait and see. I did tell to start shooting something else. So, we're trying to take as minimal damage here as possible, so that we can keep on fighting. We might be able to charge through that. If it's just one unit, should be able to charge through it. Good, as long as we're not taking casualties, it's all good there. Ah, oh, I took casualties, damn it. But yeah, that ambush was really good, because we'll get extra experience for it being an ambush as well. I'm fine with that goblin unit getting away. If I get fire damage banner, can my archer fire fire? Or is it for melee only? I'm pretty sure they fire fire. Fairly sure. Yeah, all of their attacks become fire based with the with that banner. Fairly sure. Best if you don't make any positive predictions about IE because you have the track of always getting your predictions horribly wrong. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Best best don't ask me about predictions. I'm always my I have the worst powers of prediction. Alright, cool. Yeah, so that unit got away. Hopefully they don't force march away. Because I won't be able to fight them again. Uh, we really need cash in the early stages of the campaign, more so than jars. So yeah, just don't run away. Allow me to attack you again, please. Yes, good. Good. More experience for us, because you can't run away. Good. Okay, I think this is turning out to be a pretty good start. All right. Now, with Cetra, it was important to get Root Marcher, but we actually want to go down the red line first to get Resurrect. Going down his magic line first, can, you can do that, but um, Resurrect is just so good, especially considering you got some single entities to begin with. Might be able to order resolve this. Uh, 
Uh, there's not much money to be had from that, but 175 is a full turn's worth of money. Plus, it gives us extra campaign movement range for 20 uh, for two turns, so there's additional benefits in Endless March. And like I said, we just don't really need the Canopic Jars that much right now. No campaign movement range is so useful, especially when you've only got one army. All right, cool. So, it would be good to get some cash coming in with this, I think. That also gives us extra campaign movement range if we start in the region. Now, with this region here, you can occupy it if you want, but what I'm going to do is sack it and make my way down to Xandrian and instead occupy... They've got a small force down there. Alright, we've got to fight this manually, because we want to take... Do we? Yeah, we should. I really, I really shouldn't stuff around. Cetra's early game campaign is on an absolute knife's edge. Is there any way to increase Tomb King research rate? Yeah, if you can farm Rapants, every time you defeat Rapants, she gives you 5% research rate. I'll try to do that in this campaign, but we've got to deal with our initial problems first. Alright, what are they doing? Yeah, they'll come at us because we have artillery. So what I'm trying to do there is try to get them to blob up so that the artillery can dish out more damage. Yep. And have some units try to chase after the chariots. Which they didn't. So good. Alright, there we go. That's the army losses. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, watch out. It's so hard to get back to Worma 2 after the burn of Worma 3. Yeah, I don't blame you. Don't blame you. Can we try to keep things a little bit more positive? Every stream people come in, I just get like a bombardment of negativity from people. Just try to enjoy what we're doing. Like, if, you, if you're not enjoying it, that's cool. Like, but try to... There's been a big negative energy loop going on. We really need to put a, a nip it in the bud. If you're going to come here and whinge about things that we have no control over, please just don't. Okay? Because some people just want to enjoy what we have got, rather than complain about what we didn't get. Alright, so I'm just going to sack that. Opinion on Skeleton... Chariots. They seem to have very little mass damage when used like normal chariots. Yeah, well, that's because they're tier one. You're right, yeah, they don't have that much mass. They're kind of weak. Um, but yeah, for a tier one unit, they're pretty good. Alright, Xandra's where we're going. Alright, they're recruiting. Uh, let's see, let's see how big the army that they recruit will be. But we're, you know, we're improving. Now, Cetra's Doomstack is actually, um, <coughs> um, Tomb Guard, so putting points into this will affect them as well. Yeah, 
So yeah, just to just to reiterate one more time, I totally sympathize and empathize with people that are pissed off, angry, irritated with the state of things. I'm there with you. But just you got to try to make the best of a bad situation. That's what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm working my ass off to try to make sure that this stuff's entertaining. All right. Um, so just please bear with me. It's free speech. Okay. You f <laughs> I know you're being silly. So I'm just going to let that slide. Go to the forums and whinge. You know? Alright, cool. <coughs> what is the best mixed tomb ga king's army? I don't know. Sorry. Alright. Oh yeah, that's right, I declared war on them. <laughs> oh shit, they're on their way. Uh, is that... Hang on, let me have a look at the strength ranking. Yeah, look, we should be able to get back there before too long. And they're at war with these beastmen, they might just go and take him out for us. Um, what I'm... Oh, there's an army over here. Another thing is that if you occupy Zandri, these guys here will pretty much immediately declare war on you. Ugh, if it was Medieval 2, I could split my army up in half and just go both ways. Can't do that in Warhammer. Thank you, Rome 2, for that little gem. Occupying the settlement itself won't be worth that much. It will give us some Canopic Giles, though, and we'll stop this one here from recruiting. And we'll be able to replenish here. Oh my god, how much experience did that? How did how'd you do that? Oh, this is the guy that we fought earlier. Yeah, they suffer a defeat and immediately get just fuckloads of experience. Oh god, the cheats. Whatever, you just you get used to it. Four tiers of experience in five turns or whatever it's been. Matthew Douglas did a two-dollar super chat. Hellagen, how you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. I've had that lich breeze. Oh, you're absolutely right. I forgot. Yep. Yep. Like we don't uh, putting a lich priest into this army right now at level one isn't going to do anything because Cetra's already a spellcaster anyway. But yeah, I forgot to do that. Thanks for reminding me. There. Sorry, didn't mean to bring down the room. That's okay. That's okay. Sorry, I'm not ma not mad at anyone. Like I said, I I completely sympathize with you, but you know, it's been months now of just non-stop negativity, and I'm not saying you're wrong, but we've just got to you just got to accept it at some point, you know. I swear, this is the worst I've ever seen in the Total War community. In terms of, like, just, like, mood. Not, like, necessarily behavior. But it's, uh, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult. It's a struggle every day just to come to work, essentially. Every day I gotta really push myself to come here. It's only gonna get worse before it gets better as well. Is this even shooting? Come on, man. Snippy dropped it a five dollar super chat. Uh, hey, Legend, good question. What's your general opinion on Nakai the Wanderer? I think he's the worst campaign in Warhammer Two. Absolute worst. Uh, it's terrible, terrible, terrible campaign. 
terrible legendary lord. Yeah. The worst. Thanks for super chat, I appreciate it. You know, I, I did say usually say that Throg is the worst or that I hate him the most, but I think it's Nakai. I think I hate Nakai the most. Alright, this is going really well, I think. Really, really well. Okay, this one's taking enough damage. I'm trying to spread it out a bit more evenly. It's a truly awful designed campaign. Absolutely awful. Worse than Tretch? Yep, worse than Tretch. Okay, we got way too much going on on this flank here. Fine. Good. Good. Just waiting on the army losses now. Good. Evenly spread out damage, for the most part. Is Nakai better than Warhammer 3? No. No, I'd rather play Warhammer 3, any of the Warhammer 3 campaigns, than Nakai's campaign. And we don't need to run them down because they're caught inside of a settlement, so we get all the loops for killing them. What is the Doom Stack for Tomb Kings? Doom, uh, the Tomb Kings have various different Doom Stacks. You have to think differently with Tomb Kings. Just about every single one of their units can be turned into a Doom Stack if you build them up correctly. Ooh, money. Mm. Nah, go with the growth. By occupying this, we can put an Edict down, uh, which will help us to grow Kemri. Now, I fully expect to lose Xandri. I'm not trying to do a no defeat campaign. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just gotta. Even if only for a couple of turns, getting the 10 plus 15 growth and the 25 growth there can be really handy. Uh, Musa Malak did a 5 dollar submission. Hey, Legend, hope you're well. I watched your old Felhart campaign when you conquered all the Ulf one. I tried it today and I'm absolutely loving it. No worries, dude. Yeah, that was the other thing I was tossing up. I might do that next week. Thank you, Super Chat. Appreciate it. Alright, so we've got to get back over here before these guys launch an attack on Kemri. Looking at growth, where we've got enough money to get to Kemri to tier 2, so that's good. Alright, let's have a look here. Yes? Deliver your message. Yeah, nobody likes me. Nobody likes me. Salt and blood. Oh well. Alright, let's hope capturing this doesn't bite me in the ass too much. Anyway, let's uh, move on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do we still have this active? Yeah, we do, we do. Okay. So, let's disband three units. 
here. And this way, they just get some experience, you know? It doesn't cost us anything to do it. Oh, right, 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 before I forget. Mwah! Fan fucking tastic, that's what we want. Alright, I'll use you as a scout to begin with. Good. I got a knowledgeable pretty much straight away. Okay. Oh, we don't really need to rename them knowledgeable. I, I know that they're all going to be knowledgeable. It's the only trade I go for. Good stuff. I'm glad we got that sorted. Yeah, keep an eye out over here so I know what's coming. Use him as a scout. But of course, we do want to get him leveled up. But, you know, all in due time. Moving on. What is the best Doomstack considering of single entities for any faction? So hard to answer that. Because everything is situational. There is no best. If you get into a mindset of thinking that something is the best, you're, you're doing yourself a disservice. Anything can be defeated by something. Uh, Jacob Randall did a... Ooh, okay. Did a $2 opinion on Nakari. I'm garbage, but kiting is fun. I, I like Nakari, actually. I don't think he's a very strong faction, but I, I like Nakari. Alright, those beastmen. Let me just see here. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> 2,000 gold in the early game. Oh, oh, God. Yes, that is so much money. All right, what do you got? Skelly bones. Oh, man, we can make it all the way to Gorgazan. Uh, do you know what's funny? If they captured Kemri, we don't really lose anything apart... Well, obviously, we lose Kemri. It's tier one, so just, just rebuild it. They've got this as well. Since I can make it to Gorgazan, I think we can justify going over here and sack it. Because we just got to get Cetra leveled up. Oh shit, there's a bigger army there than I thought. Now we can handle it. Oh shit, even auto resolve says so. Are you playing on easy, what the fuck? No, I'm playing a legendary. No, if if Beastman likes you, you can always get shitloads of money from them. It is known. Works in Warhammer 3 as well. I don't think we should auto resolve it. There's nothing in here that's super dangerous. That was, that was very helpful. But, we're, it's not like that's just instant win. That's just a really good start. Really, really good. Because that money's going to come in handy. Really, really handy. Uh, Brink of Art did a 5 euro super share. Greeting legend. Played Tomb Kings after watching an older stream of yours. An absolute blast with the great cheese. Thanks for your content. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the super chat. Glad you like it. I really enjoy Tomb Kings. They're one of my favorite factions. Alright, let's try to get the attention of their Savage Orc Boar Boys. Get them over here early. A uh, Tomb King's corner camper faction? They can be. They can be. They're not not like the vampire accounts, but they can be a corner camper faction. So yeah, what we're trying to do here is just get their attention. Once again, we're just going to sack it. Hmm, they're not going for it.
Yeah, just not going for it. It's okay. Oh shit, I did not set up very well here. Holy crap. That is way too tight. Way too tight. Those archers aren't going to be able to shoot properly. I like it tight, but not that tight. Yeah, by charging into them constantly, they've blobbed up. That's what we wanted. Okay, here they come. What are you doing? Get over here. Okay, okay, yeah, if you could just keep running that one down. I think they got terrified. So they'll be back. Yep, they're back. Tore to shreds. I think that's the army losses. No, it's not. Okay, back off. Just most of the units are running. Alright, there's the army losses. Good. Uh, okay. Do you prefer Necro Sphinx or War Sphinx? Um, it's kind of a... Hmm. Again, that's a weird question because... You're never in a situation where it's like one or the other. You can get both. So, yeah, I, d I get both. I like them both equally. Like, one's anti large, one's anti infantry. Alright, that was good. Okay, like I said, we're starting to get down to resurrect. Okay. Now, the big question here is, should I force march? Looking at their strength ranking. Oh, we completely wrecked them. And looks like the Harbingers of Disaster. Oh, hang on, let me see this. Oh, oh. <laughs> Double! Double! Double up, boys! Look at my money! Alright, we're, we're... Wow! This is a great start. Matt Smith did a $50 super chat. Thanks for the hours of entertainment and cheese. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. What a great start this has been so far. Holy shit. I actually feel like I can force march and not worry too much about it. 
Holy shit balls. Yeah, don't worry about that. The game might throw me a curveball after all this. Holy shit, I got all this money! Alright, cool. And if they can just survive long enough, we can get some more out of them. Which would be nice. Alright, let's move on. Do you have to do anything to get them to pay you? They have to like you, that's it. Now, when I bring Cetra over here, it is very likely that if we sally out, that they will just run away. That is very likely. So, we need to be able to catch him, right? Uh, I've lost all of my extra movement now. This guy here has... Okay. Yeah, I need to, I need to get him. Because that army is very easy to beat. Uh, damn, sorry, Cam Dragon did a $5 super chat. Do you have to have the Warhammer 2 DLCs to play them in Mortal Empire Warhammer 3? Yes, you will. Yeah. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Mm. Them, if they're trying to get their money back by raiding me. It'll take a few turns before I can get some more money out of them. They're trying to get their money back. So there's two ways we can go about this. We could force march over here, just lift the siege, they'll just run back over home. Or, we could come over here and ambush dance to about here, so that I can actually get them next turn. Because if they don't feel threatened, they'll stay there. It is very unlikely that they'll launch the attack over the end turn. Now, if they do launch the attack and take Kemri... Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. Not really. Um, although, we've now got enough growth to build this up to tier 2. So, it would be good to lift it, lift it this turn. Um, Michael Coldhome did a 10 euro super chat. Here's some Farmville money. Uh, man, I don't, I, don't, I don't buy keys in Farmville. But thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Um, hmm. Because, yeah, we want to fight him. Definitely want to fight him. This one's coming in. They can't reach. Can't ally with them. I could attack them. But they just gave you money. Hmm. How are we going to do this? If that army here attacked us while we're in force march, we would beat it. I'm pretty damn confident. So what, another thing I could do is force march to here and don't sally out, right? That way we're very close to getting them next turn. Stand here. Hmm. Or I could use the movement bug. Like, mm, no, nah, don't do that. It's actually better if they take Camry and you raise it, then re rebuild it with special Necrotect. Right, except that I can't get another Necrotect for a while. That that actually is a pretty interesting idea. Um, that's actually very clever. Uh, we'll get to, we'll get, we'll build it to tier three. We'll, we'll do that on a different settlement. That, that is pretty clever, though. Alright. Um. What am I gonna do here? I 
Because, yeah, this guy turns around and attacks me. I know I can handle this. This is no big deal. So... Are they, they definitely didn't raise another army. You know what, peace. Okay. So... Alright, I'm going to try something that's going to be a little bit iffy, I think. But sometimes these iffy maneuvers are the way to go. I'm going to stand right here. And I'm not going to sally out against them. Yeah, according to this, Cetra will not... Oh, he's buried. Okay. I'm also going to get rid of one of these. And attach him in there. To his experience. So yeah, we're not going to sally out. Because I, I'm trying to catch this guy. I want to kill him. Alright. And as for this, you know, just deal with another turn. It's fine. I don't see any point upgrading Xandri. It's not safe. Okay. Turn 5, Tier 3, Camry. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, but you have to choose the Necrotect at the start, not the Lich Priest, if you want to do that. So let's just see what happens here. Hopefully they just maintain the siege. No, they didn't. Kind of suspected that they would do that, and now they're going to try to leg it. What are they- what are they doing? I got you. He wasted so much movement. Good. Do AI Tomb Kings also need to wait to research the second army? I think so, yeah, but the AI's Tomb Kings not particularly aggressive, so it doesn't bother them that much. Yeah, give me those canopic jars. What are you what are you doing? This is curious. Okay. I understand Tomb King Scorpions War Sphinxes are amazing. How are Bone Giants? Not that great. They're they're okay. Like I still get them, but they're not great. Okay. Alright, these guys here need to go harass. Ideally, we want them to use up their army abilities, because they always cast it on themselves. They've been doing that ever since Warden and Paunch. I told CA about it, and they just did not care, it seems. All right, they can't even see our army. That's fine. It wouldn't be a bad thing to get a peace treaty. Oh, do you remember last time, actually? I got a peace treaty with the top knots. Yeah, see, they cast it on themselves. I got a peace treaty with the top knots in one of my campaigns, and I was like, yep, cool, that way we don't need to finish them off. And then about, I don't know, 10 turns later, they declared war on me and gave me the biggest headache of my entire campaign because I left them alone for a while. I was like, full of regret. But they seem to be losing versus the Beastmen, so we'll see how things go. The master's hunting beastie boys. Well, I can't let that happen because those guys are giving me money. And if it's one thing I love, it's money! <laughs> Free money. Two, two grand is a lot for the Tomb Kings. That's a lot. There we go. So what we're doing here is just messing up their formation, making them 
move in a disorganized manner so that when they come up to our organized army, they just get absolutely annihilated. Like, this is stupid, what they're doing. Oh, yeah. Also, the charge on um, Kemi and Wolf Sphinxes can be really devastating if it does that particular animation, which it did loads of damage. Just gets a bit tired, that's all. Thoughts on Hellebron and her campaign? It's alright. I don't really like it that much, but it's alright. It's not one of my favorites. I think I could use a little bit of a touch-up. Yeah, if it does that animation, it's not quite as good. Come on, get moving. What's your all-time favorite cheese in Total War? Probably knowledgeable cheese. I'd love to have that big kitty, like that as a pet. Uh, yeah, that's good, I guess. Oh yeah, they will get the Yashab tea, yeah. JW became a member for six months. Uh, hey, Legend, Total War Warhammer 3, the... Hang on, I'll pause this. Uh, the Emmy campaign release is very disappointing. Okay, thank you for the chat, appreciate it. Uh, for the membership, I mean. I don't, yeah, I don't know what you mean. You haven't played it. Unless you mean the roadmap. Okay, just waiting for their units to get a, a bit of distance away before we charge into them. There. There we go, should be okay. Because, yeah, the thing about chariots is that you want them to rout the enemy units, but these ones here, they don't rout. They do crumble, though. And see, look at all these guys here lagging behind. That's what I wanted. Good, made an absolute mess of their formation. That's what we need to be doing. Such is going to deal with this guy, which he'll lose because of AI cheats. So, best thing we can do with him is just get the army losses on him. Or get the Chimian Wall Sphinx on him. Look how early they have had to use their Ushab to summon compared to us. I thought I took you out of it. Come on. They're a little bit stuck. Maybe I maybe I just need to withdraw them. Yeah, they've done well enough. Just withdraw before you get wiped out. Go, 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 go. Leave, leave, leave. Can't replace them just yet.
Okay, sharp T. Oh God, they're so annoying. All right, good. Sharp T been dealt with. Casca getting loads of kills. That's why we wanted to get it early on. It makes a big difference. Oh, didn't go anywhere near where I wanted it to. Look at that, my chariots are losing in melee versus archers. That's the AI cheats for you. What are you gonna do? Get in there, I need you to drop down big bomb. Good, victory's in our grasp. Hurry up. We haven't taken that many casualties because the sharp T hasn't even come in yet. Did you lose the basement challenge? No, just people weren't that interested in it. We didn't we didn't take a defeat. There we go. Got him. Instead of wet, curse will be coming down. Good stuff. Bit of, I don't think any units got wiped out, but I'm not entirely sure. Decisive victory. Okay. I was kind of expecting close. Yeah, no units got wiped out. Okay. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. If you lose casket, can you re-recruit it without a ritual? Nope, they're 5,000 gold each. If it's if it gets killed, it's killed forever. You have to get another one. So you can only get one every 15 turns. What happened there? Alright. And we can get some money, or we could get replenishment. Nah, we could get... Yeah, give me movement and money. I guarantee you will spend it. I saved your life. No, they're not ready to give me any more money. Okay, now we probably could if we if we move fast enough, maybe take Numas. Which I'm a little bit skeptical of doing because that puts on a border with uh, Queek. Um, and I like to go west, not east. You have relics that belong to me. So in all honesty, if they raise another army and bring it over here, I don't really care. What I think we should do is go back over here and keep and just sack that city. Just let this shit go on for a bit. And if they send another army over here, that's fine. But I think we need to start preparing for invading the Bretonians here. Because yeah, if I go this way, yeah, it's just not worth it. Let them build their settlements up, whatever. Alright, I think I'll be fine to force march to here. They don't have any armies. Yeah, they got nothing.
Okay, that's all looking pretty good. Cool. Alright, let's move on. Best magic of the Tomb Kings? Probably shadows, but it takes a little while to get shadow magic. Your thumbnail today was great. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I try to make... Oh, they shit. They blew it up. Try to make it so that the thumbnails are uh, as funny as possible. Or past trait would be great. Yeah, that's why we want to be heading that way. You know. Oh, in the early game. Oh my god, they're just throwing money at me. In the early game, money is more valuable than Canopic Jars. Late in the campaign, Canopic Jars are just drop dripping from every everywhere. Ah, oh, sucks to be you. They want peace. Mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. The more I sack them, the more they're going to like me, which means I can get money off them again. Alright, looking at... Uh, where are they? These guys. I just want to see when I can next get more money off them. Uh, it'll, it'll still be a few more turns, but I feel like they're heading over here to go and die. Alright, if I go into Raid Stance... Yeah, I'll just replenish. Actually, go into Ambush Stance, because that way we can start getting the Ambusher trait. Cool. And uh, by sacking this constantly, it's going to make uh, Malagor like me more. So that I can get cash out of him. Cool. Alright, cool. Moving on. Do a challenge run playing Tomb Kings where you can't cross water because Citra does not surf. Oh yeah. Um, hmm. Ah, that seems a bit silly. What does the special Necrotect unlock? It allows you to colonize a ruin and bring it straight to tier 3. Kind of like the scape and food mechanic, but only to tier 3. Useful if you want to go and like immediately develop Nagashazar, which isn't that valuable to us anyway. Alright, well we could upgrade Zandri, but like I said before, I don't care about Zandri. Um, yeah, get some gold. And get some... Public order. Because, you know, that public order is costing us 15 growth. And increasing construction costs. That's how they get you on the higher difficulties with this. Oh, you lost your thing. Uh, Burst Island did a 30 euro super chat. Hey, Legend, here's some support. Let's hope CA fixes Wormuth's rig, because that content wasn't enjoyable to watch. Keep up the good work. Yep, I feel you, dude. Thanks for super chat. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We'll upgrade that because yeah, we did get a whole bunch of money, so this shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and an additional ten growth from that is not really worth two thousand one hundred. I mean, I did get all that money, but still, that's just not worth ten growth. I guarantee you, we'll spend it elsewhere because this one over here—that's not overly expensive. This is where I want to be going next. Okay. 
Okay. Looking at Gorgazan, they can't recruit anything. Yeah, they can't recruit anything at all. They're essentially finished. They have to build a barracks here, which they don't have. We'll just keep this going for the time being. I don't see anything else for me to do. What are we going to do in this building here? I could build that. It's not overly expensive. And keeping our public order under control. I don't really want to farm revolts. I can always demolish it later down the track. There's nothing else I can build militarily. Let's move on. If they nerfed the Entrepreneur like they did Knowledgeable, how bad would that damage the High Elf campaigns? Oh, High Elves will still be fine. Um, it's just that it, they'll take a big hit in their strength ranking. That's all. Uh, Dirt Thirst did a photo of the Citra campaign, or how I learned to stop worrying and love jars. Excited to watch more Tomb Kings. Alright, thanks dude. Thanks for Chat. Appreciate it. Alright. So. So, 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 so. We're getting pretty close to resurrect. Like that that ability makes a big difference. But yeah, there's just not much else going on at the moment. Yeah, Clan Moors declared war on them. Um, yeah, something something's gonna go down. Come on, give me some more money before you get wiped out. Okay, probably probably in the next turn or so. Hang on, let me have a look at this again. Harbingers of disaster. Where are they likely to go? Hopefully they come down here and just help us sack this. So if you're wondering why I'm going into ambush stance, it's so I can get the ambusher trait. Every turn that we spend in that, you know, ticks one towards it. Didn't Cetra used to only have to put five points into the stuff? I'm fairly sure. They must have changed that. It means it just takes longer to get here. Also, we're nearly up to our next technology. What a lot of people do is, um, like, switch that over to something else. But I need another army. Because what we can do with that other army is bring it over here, get it doing the Sac City stuff, get things leveled up while Cetra goes in elsewhere and does other things. If we can get Banishment, that'll really help out if we want to invade al Hayy, Because that's usually my next target. Because, uh, you know, these guys here are done. I'll probably get a peace treaty with them the moment that I feel like they're about to get wiped out. Otherwise, otherwise I could just keep sacking them. It's better than waiting around doing nothing. We've got a good amount of money. Here we go. Did you get Knowledgeable Light Priest? If yes, there's something to guarantee it, because it takes me at least 20 turns to get it. I did get it, and it is just luck. There's no way to guarantee it unless you save scum. Do you need two armies to take on Bretonia? Um, you don't need to. But if I go over there right now... Uh, my money! Oh, well, hopefully the Harbingers of Disaster last a little bit longer. Yeah, if you go over there right now, I just don't think it's worth it. This always happens. I'm surprised it took them that long. There's something wrong with the Knights of Arigo. They are just hyper aggressive. That's a decent trade along with Campaigner. Yeah, and that's another thing we could do. Stay in Force March. Maybe that's what I should be doing. Yeah, that's not worth it. Just send a few bones. Alright. Cool. Income's improving. Nice, 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 nice. And we've got access to another army. Now, because we've got all that money, we can get another Lich. Priest or... No, Necrotech. That's what we need first. That's also very good. Yeah, I'll get that. I'll get that soon. Thanks for all that money. Uh, same, shame about those beastmen. Come on. Come on, you. You need to give me more money before you die. You don't understand how much we need money. It's like trying to squeeze gold out of a bone.
Will you go to Ica to farm his trait? Uh, Ica Claw is a lot more difficult to farm the trait than Rapance. Rapance is actually quite easy to do it with. Ica's Claw is definitely better, for sure. Yeah, we've got to get to... What's this? Yeah, I've got to get to Resurrect. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's other stuff in here as well that's really good. Like Founder of Kemri. We need 100 for that. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's get that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because we got to get started on getting those heroes. As soon as we get them, as soon as they can get leveled up. Yeah, just leave all of this. Okay, that's all good. And... You know what? I'm going to go into Force March now <laughs> to get that trait. We didn't get the Ambusher trait, did we? Yeah, but this one's, this one's better. This one's better, so let's get that one. I don't care if the Knights of Arigo come over here and capture this. I'll just go, I'll go and smash them back. We should be able to handle them easily, because they usually just have peasants. And I'll be able to send Necrotex to just go and search this area here. Alright, let's move on. See events for money? Uh, uh nah, nah. You don't get much as Tomb Kings from that. Oh, I forgot to recruit the Lord. <laughs> Whoops. Come on, Legend, get your shit together. Yeah, I forgot to recruit the second army. It's a good thing I got lucky in this campaign, because they're make, making a few silly mistakes. Ah, uh, no. Oh, they're at war with the Knights of Arigo. Well, good. If I had to recruit a second army, I definitely could have gotten it. Actually, I still might be able to get it. Let me just see. No, I can't. Whoops! Don't forget to beg for the basement. Yeah. Oh, look, they set up over here. Nice. Yeah, you just keep doing your thing, you delicious beast man. Hmm. I didn't think they'd be here this soon. If I sack this, I can still get there in Force March. I will not blight my soul. Hmm. Will I get another level up? No. Yeah, I can still get there. They've probably got another army coming. But it's almost always just peasants. They've got an artillery piece in this. Alright. Now, if we recruit a lord here, if their other army is coming this way, what they'll do is they'll just besiege with one army and kick the other one out. So, best recruit him over here. Definitely should have done it last time. My big, big mistake there. Um, you'll do. And yeah, just recruit like crazy. We also got a Necrotect. Alright, 
Alright, keep this one for the turn. Use him as a bit of a scout. For games you abandoned for us, do you ever finish them off stream? Oh, I don't have time, dude. I don't have time. I've got to just move on to the next thing. You know, there's very little downtime between each stream, really. Because, like, I could do disaster battles and sleep. There's, there's no time. Okay. Uh, Alright, if we have a look at the money, we're pretty good. I do really like to get this quite early. Wouldn't mind another one of those. So which is more valuable? Public order, reduced construction cost. Yeah, yeah, let's go with this. I think I'll get more value out of it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I kind of hope they do attack. I'm pretty sure I can beat them. Oh, that was stupid of them. Alright, what are they going to do? Okay, they just backed off. Shit, how many fucking armies do you want to have? Oh, what the hell? These guys here just went to war with us. My luck's drying up. Give me money. Just gotta survive one more turn, I think. Give me that money. Alright, I can't quite reach that. So yeah, we use this Necrotech to just see what's going on. He's disbanding units. What Interesting. Oh, there goes all that money. Besides move speed and melee combat reduction, is there any negative impact on being tired, exhausted for artillery? I think their firing rate is reduced. Yeah, so just fire less frequently. Um, yeah, that'd be really difficult to launch an attack on, unless that's even if that's all just peasants. Okay, another thing that we could do is just go into ambush dance, like about here. Because I reckon he'll want to come back. Let me just check something. Whose turn comes first? I'm pretty sure... Okay, their turn comes first. Like, if they see this settlement poorly defended, they'll probably go for it. Oh, why don't we do this? It's only be a small foe. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, give me... Yeah, give me that campaign movement range for... Two turns, that's good. Lost Cargo gives us... Growth... For nice! Nice! Cool. Alright, now come over here, go into Ambush Dance. Wait for them to basically launch another attack on us. I get a peace treaty with them. What turn is it? 17. How much money can I get out of them for this? Money. Oh, last time I did this, I really regretted it. They've got a lot of enemies. It seems unlikely that they will just focus on me. 
say that, but I've seen it happen. I may end up regretting it again, but man, we need money. Alright. And let's get founder of Khemri so that we can start recruiting and disbanding tomb princes unless we get what we want, which we didn't. Alright, cool. Cool. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I may end up regretting what I did, but uh, we will see. We will see. Let's move on. You'll get money elsewhere. Look, we'll see how we go. I'm currently a little bit busy. I think I want to go after Thegan's errantry. We'll see. I may end up regretting it. I may not. We'll see. Alright, come on. Come back over here. Fall into my trap. Mm, they did not. Yuki Scarlet Moon did a $5 submission. Hey, Legend. Uh, I've been watching for years now since the early days. I always love to sit and watch your VODs at night. Thanks, hun. Peace. All right, no. Dude, we'll do that. Thanks for Super Chat. Glad you enjoy them. Make way. All right, well, they're nowhere near here. Yes! <laughs> That's really good. Really, really good. Cool. Got some more money out of him for that. New Masters under siege. Do they want peace? Nope. Yeah, they're finished. I think it's Clan Scryer doing it. Uh, Clan Moors, which... That's not good, but... We make do with what we can. Alright. that in two turns. Ah, oh, I can get the money for it. Alright, start making your way over Shmyar. Because, yeah, we want to take al Haik. How are we going to do that? I think... Outright declaring war on them could be a mistake. They've only got the one settlement there. They like us. I don't care. I'm still going to declare war on them. How are we going to do this? Their army, it's got to be full of trash. Because look at the barracks there. Alright, let's try this. If I go... Peace, but join war against Thegan's errantry. No. Okay. And how are the Knights of Arigo going? Yeah, they're fine. They probably just went home. And what's going on with you? Well, you don't hate me. That's interesting. Hmm. Alright, at least we got access to banishment. That'll help. Oh, wow. Look at the magic here. Uh, it's not so bad over here, though. We could try to set up a trap. Might work. These lands are ours by the right granted from the Lady of the Lake. Okay, I know I can get some money out of them for this. That'll be good. Let's get 800. No, not that much. Alright, good. Alright. Um, we'll just have to see if they uh, come down this way. Because uh, Zandri is not well defended. Cool. Let's move on. Next turn we'll be able to upgrade this as well, which is good. Got a good amount saved up. There we go. Uh, get the second treasure first. That one over there? Nah, nah, it's too out of the way. It's not, not important.
If they force march over here, a good chance I'll ambush them. Oh shit. They walked right through my ambush. I can't win that. Yeah, I absolutely can't win that. Arise, my legions. Rise. Oh no, I was defeated! And they foiled my ambush. That could not have been worse. Didn't check for heroes. It's all right. I needed to have scouting. All right, what do they got? It's all just melee infantry. It's all just melee infantry, but the problem here... Oh, no, it's not all just melee infantry. Um, I need to bring in my reinforcements, just back off. They can't catch us. Stay still, stay still, stay still. No. Alright, well, okay, this is, this is not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, we can we can beat the crap out of this. This isn't so bad. Losing not we didn't lose Zandri, but uh Zandri getting sacked is not a big deal at all. Alright, so we can still upgrade this. Still get this guy moving towards hang on. Yeah, when I attack with this army here, he's just gonna run away. Yeah, I didn't know that they were in ambush dance there. Didn't know. Oh well. These things happen. But, you know, I hope it was worth it for them. They sacked Xandri, but I'm going to smash them. Now, it's not worth repairing this stuff, even for a tiny little bit of growth. It'll just repair on its own automatically. Yes, you go. Done with you. Sphinx Carver's over here. I'll take that. I also accept Scorpion Carver. Uh, I don't need to rename him. And Tomb Prince's trustworthy is good, but uh, it's not what we're looking for. Just keep him for this turn. Alright, we gotta fight this manually to take minimal damage. Now they have stupidly split their forces? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we should be able to just take them out one bit at a time. And that's what we want. We want to get lots of little battles rather than one big massive fight. In Warhammer 3, one big massive fight is usually better. Yeah, as long as you can win. Then lots of little ones. Uh, we need to be out of their range of the artillery right at the start. Or else they'll wreck us. Um, the chariots have to avoid it as well. They don't have any cavalry, do they? Except for the Lord. You come over here. You come over here. And you come over here, because their artillery just can't do much. We don't have much magic, though. Yeah, that all seems fine. You can still recruit another Lich Priest, I believe. Ah, oh, right, yeah, yeah, because I researched that tech. Alright, thanks, dude. Alright, we want to be using this on him. Because the rest of their army is not a big deal. Five wins of magic, that's not bad. Alright, you look over this way. 
Yeah, the main thing here was not letting the field trebuchets get to us. That was really important. You know what? A banishment wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Wait, how much is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Let's keep using this. Alright. Alright, bring this guy back. We'll have the, one of the um, their chariots chase after them. Because otherwise they'll come back and reattach. We don't want that. Yeah, decent damage. Because, yeah, their lord is the only thing I'm concerned about here. back. Gotta stop that. That was a direct hit on all counts, so that was good. That did a lot of damage. Okay, Cetra's anti-large, but it'd still be better if we were fighting among melee infantry. Oh, I think he's got it. Just come back. Get back in formation. Cool. You're dead. Get over here. So looking pretty good. Get over here. Sure, he gets wiped out so we get the loot money for it. And there's the army losses. Cool, everyone stop firing. It's gonna get friendly fire. Cool, that's pretty minimal damage. Pretty minimal. And run them down for the extra. Oh, yeah, make sure this guy here gets killed because he's got like no health left. Um, actually, if we can just get one shot off him with this, it might work. Get out of the way, out of the way, out of the way. Yeah, got him. Got him. Cool. That just means extra loot money for us. YouTube's automatic subtitle site, Legend Total Boy here. Yeah, I know, I know. That's, uh. Yeah, we're aware of that. It's absolute crime against me. I'm gonna sue YouTube for that. No, I'm just kidding. Hope you get a good laugh out of that. Okay, come on. Can you... Alright, cool. Good start, I think. Apart from that, uh, it would have been better if we had ambushed these guys, but that's fine. There was only 40% chance of success, and I had no idea where they were. Yeah, barely any damage. Uh, Anthony Luck did a 25 HK super chat. What could be the factors to confed Manfred while in an alliance? Mine and his strengths were similar, but I can confed him suddenly with him giving me 10k. Don't know. Maybe he just feels threatened. Maybe his enemies got stronger. It's really hard to say with those things because it doesn't give you a breakdown. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. 
Alright, that'll do. Cool, so we got a decent amount of loot from that. Cetra took some damage. That's okay, he did a good job. Why is he running them down? You get more loot money if you run them down. I know they all get wiped out anyway, but if you don't... Don't... Okay, you don't get loot on units that you don't kill in this particular situation. Okay, could get replenishment or money. I need the movement. We didn't take much damage. We're, we're fine. Okay. And... Yeah, too bad I didn't put a cunning one in here last turn. Oh well. Might have ambushed them. Might not have still. Alright. Yeah, we gotta keep moving towards Resurrect. Protect my vision. Them out. Ooh. Shit. If I attack him. Take me for a child. If I attack him, I'm going to be out of movement, right? And then I leave myself open to attack from these two guys here, which shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, hmm. It's just something to think about. I should be able to beat them. But what about that other Knights of Arigo army? Let me just check on them. Fine. Speak up. Hmm. How's new mouse holding out? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna die. Or I could I could take out Thegan's errantry army, that Baron Thegan. His army is the major threat, and that'll bring me close to Al Haik. Yeah, that one's the biggest threat because it's got archers in it. The others just have melee infantry. They're no big threat. This guy here could potentially reach uh, Zandri, though. I know it doesn't quite look like it, but sometimes it can be deceptive. Sometimes you've got to YOLO! Just going to do it. Try and push again? Nah, we're just going to go for it. I'll have to fight the battle manually. Go take minimal damage. When is it worth it to take urns after battle? It depends on what you need, right? So, in the earlier stages of the campaign, when you're making no money, loot, after battle loot, is like the best way to make cash, apart from like Beastman giving you money, right? Now, there's no point getting loads and loads of jars if you don't have any money. There's also no point having loads and loads of money if you're not getting jars. Um, I do need jars, but uh, we have other ways of getting it. Also, the campaign movement range really helps, so... Sometimes the secondary effect is more important than the primary effect. Right, this time I'd like it if Cetra doesn't take any damage whatsoever. Okay, at least we've got a good amount of Winds of Magic in this province. So I can actually cast spells. Right, these two go around to go and get rid of the enemy archers. And once again, we really got to focus on the Bretonian Lords because they are a churl. Not much. King of U212 did a $5 super chat. Not sure if anyone's asked before, but have you thought about streaming the filming of Disaster Battles? Have you thought about it would be fun to watch? Um, yeah, look, I've, I've considered that in the past. Um, we've kind of done something like that, and it's always performed really badly. So, yeah, there's no reason to expect it would um, be any better now. Yeah, there's no archers. It was Stegan's army that had archers.
And they're kind of coming at us at an awkward angle. Yeah, the chariots cannot beat uh, the Bretonian Lord there. Trying to run, him, run away from him. At least he's being distracted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I think that was a pretty damn good banishment. Good. I did say I didn't want um, Cetra taking excessive damage. Moving back over here. Keep moving. Still, his main army is getting absolutely wrecked here, so that's good for us. Alright, there we go, there's the army losses. Cool. Alright, everyone stop firing. And just run them down for extra loot. I'm not gonna be able to catch up to him. Cool, we didn't take much damage. That's what we wanna see. Be interesting to see if they wanna attack me again on the end turn with their two remaining armies. Well, I wonder if I should go into ambush stance. That could be interesting. I don't know if I've got enough movement. There we go. Why did they decide to go with the 12 entities in the Tomb King Chariot instead of the 4, like other factions? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't really answer any why did Creative Assembly decide answers, because Creative Assembly are an enigma wrapped in a mystery. I was going to say something meaner, but that was fine. Yeah, we still just, we really need the money. I know we got heaps. Okay, I won't be able to go into ambush dance. Okay, maybe they'll attack me and push me back over here. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, Fletcher Reed became a member for 17 months. Appreciate you. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate you, too. Alright. Looking good here. Up to tier 3. That stuff will just repair over time. Don't bother putting any money into it. It's great th these guys here not doing anything. I do want to go back to war with them. Just now was not convenient. I could score some money out of them. 
Is there anything else I could do? Like, go into peace with them? No, they won't take it. No. It looks like he's getting wrecked. That's fine. I don't need his defeat trait. Uh, Knights of Arigo. Nope. Uh, skull Crag. I never want to go to war with them. No, that's fine. Okay. And let's move on. If all goes well, I might be able to take Al Haik next turn, but we'll just have to see how this turn goes. Ugh, you're asking for disaster there. Okay. Alright, we can get the Great Incantation of Tahoth again, which is really good if we want to launch the attack on Al Haik. Alright, this guy here has the right trait that we want. Okay. I don't think I will launch the attack this turn. Um, I think what I want to do is put this guy in a position that's... Uh, he's going to be vulnerable. These guys are defensive. Because there's just so many units there. Alright, okay, maybe put Setra here again. Go into Ambush Dance. You come to here. Mm hmm. Attach him into this army, actually. Alright, let's get a little bit of a scout going on over here. Just want to see what's going on. Alright, yeah, it's nothing. Okay, get rid of you. And you, little check over here. Alright, maybe this guy here. Oh yeah, there's a chance that this might work. There's a chance. Okay, if we want to do this, actually, we should get a little bit more over here. Yeah, a little bit more over this way. Because we want them to come as far as possible over here while still being able to hit Al Haik next turn. Okay, this guy here be disbanded as well. And what do we got? Nope. And looking at Tomb uh, Lich Priests. Oh, freaking death magic. They love giving me knowledgeable death wizards, but I don't like death magic in Warhammer 2. Love it in Warhammer 3, though. Oh, cunning. Yes, you stay there. That'll be really good. Because that will increase our ambush success chance by fifth, uh, to, by 10%. Oh, I've got a... T oh, shit. I should get the Tomb Prince in there as well. Get rid of this one. Yeah, we definitely want to increase our chance of ambushing. So that means 60% chance of ambushing. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, now also... Also, do the Great Incantation of Tahoth. Right? Then, we kick this dude out. Oh, cunning. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Lots of cunning. And, he loves jars. Uh, let you do doing this again. I will always love jars. Now we can start getting jars passively, which is nice. Alright, now we should have 70% chance of ambushing. Let's just hope that they go for it. Otherwise, it's going to be a painful siege, and I don't want to put you through that. So if we can thin them out, that'd be great. It's slowly repairing. Okay, and let's move on. New masters destroyed, and uh, clan moors. Yeah, that's gonna be annoying. Ah, you got bushed. All right, we should probably auto resolve this because 
that'll guarantee that they get wiped out. Very nice. Nice spread out casualties. So, thanks for that, boys. Alright, what have we got available now? Nothing there, so I don't need to disband him this turn. Urgh! Stupid. Another death wizard. I don't want death wizards. Yuck. Okay. Would be great if we had that. Is there anything else that'll help us in this coming fight? So okay, I think we get unfading memory, is that right? Yeah, for Tomb Guard. Okay. This one will have to do. Oh, which one is it? Lord Recruit rank plus one faction wide. Or, we get cheaper banishments. Given the situation right now, Lord Recruit rank plus one would actually be more useful to me. Alright. Off to Al Hayek. I go, I go. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be able to order resolve it. Where do Screaming Skulls rank for Warhammer 2's artillery? Weaker than Plague Claws? Oh yeah, they're, they're like, kind of shit. But, not... They're still worth recruiting, but compared to Plague Claw Catapults, they're nowhere near as good. Oh, what? Bringing the other army, it didn't even do anything to the order itself, there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, damn it! I forgot to get another... Could have gotten the other Casket of Souls. It's too late now. I'm already here. Oh, that would have really sped things up. It's too late. I can't go back. Yeah, I should have got the casket. We'll still win. It just, it would speed things up because it'll get like 200 kills. Oh, well, what are you going to do? Just decrease the unit scale, then boom, death magic's the best. Cool. Yeah, just decrease the unit scale and boom, boring game. Yeah, I forgot to get the artillery. That would have made a big difference. We'll still win. There's no way we're going to lose, um, given what they've got in here. Like, a couple of banishments will sort them out. Okay. We only need to destroy one tower. I probably don't need these skeleton chariots anymore. As the battles get bigger, they get less and less useful. Okay, stop bringing these guys in over here. Is Cetra's Chariot the best mount for him? Um, no. Uh, well, he has two best mounts. The Chariot is good if you want to get loads of kills against Chaff Infantry. Uh, but the um, Cambrian War Sphinx is better if you just want a more versatile mount. So, for example, if you're on the Chariot and you're going up against monsters, it's awful against that. But if you're on the War Sphinx, it's a lot better. So it comes down to, do you want versatility, or do you want chaff infantry killing power? Personally, I prefer him having a more versatile amount. Again, you've got to get out of the mindset of which is best. Because it's just not how the game works. You know, everything has got different strengths and weaknesses. And it just depends on whatever suits your needs. Like, you getting a chariot is useless if the enemy is full of, like, 
Croxigors, as an example. Absolutely useless. Do you always play larger unit scale? Yeah, I like bigger battles. My computer can handle it. I really, really hate smaller unit scales. Like, even when I play large unit scale, I just don't like it. Alright, we do have a lot of melee infantry. But, we have 75 winds of magic. So, a fair bit of banishment can be done with that. God damn, still hasn't destroyed this. Is it worth getting both as a follow-up? That's up to you. You've got limited points with Setra. He's a spellcaster and a melee lord. You've got to make that decision for yourself. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's up to you. I personally don't do it. Oh, God. Good thing they don't have artillery here. It's just the towers. We're almost out of range. Can you say the same about Grom's fishy breath? That also feels a little chaff farming. Uh, yeah, you could also say that. I guess. Move back a little bit. Alright, cool. This will seriously thin them out with a few of these. I don't think that could have gone much better. We're getting shot up over here. Move back. Alright, let's bring the Cambrian War Sphinx over here. Start knocking down the gate. You guys come over here as well. Actually, not the Necrotect. I have a habit of getting Necrotects killed. Pros, cons on smaller versus larger unit scales. It's... Uh, um, it's, it's just a matter of whether or not you enjoy it. You know, everyone's going to have different opinions based on different unit scales. Some people enjoy small unit scale. Some people enjoy ultra unit scale. Don't worry about pros and cons. Just play on the unit scale that you find the most enjoyable based on your computer specs. Like, if you're playing on a potato, then you have to play small unit scale. Come on, that's it, that's it. Get those kills. Didn't go exactly where I wanted it to, but still good. Okay, just stay put, just stay put. No, 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 just stay put. Stay put. You're okay. Don't shoot. You probably just shoot up and wreck, get wrecked. Alright, so the wizard here has gotten 311 kills. Okay, we're a little bit within their range. Get back. Okay, bomb that over there. If you can aim for the archers, that would be best. Cool. Probably just gonna get one more cast before we start. Seriously, think. Oh, hang on, hang on. If we. All right, if you get thrown in there. Shame we didn't get to uh, resurrect. We're only like one level away from it. If we can try to get as many of them blobbed up here as possible, we could do a ton more damage with the banishment. Yeah, see, like this.
There we go. Lots of kills. Could you explain how diplomatic contact works in Warhammer 3? I've had AI armies stand right next to each other, but still not having met in the diplomacy section. Yeah, oh, fuck me, man. It's, it works differently for the AI as for the player. It's, it's hard to say. Basically, if you want two AI factions to meet each other, they need to be bordering each other. Their armies don't count because... Let me, it's... Hang on. Um, Batchia did a, uh, 47 did a file to some shit. How do I make money as Wood Elves? Um, keep your upkeep down and build tax buildings. Same as any other faction. Thanks, Super Chat. Um, <coughs> okay. Um, yeah, in regards to diplomatic contact, it's... There's a double standard because of the way that, uh, Total War games are programmed. The AI factions don't have, um, Fog of War, right? So, technically... Every AI faction can see the entire map at all times. So they need to have a secondary condition in order to actually meet another faction. And the way to do that is if they border each other. Because if one of their armies goes into another person's region, they don't immediately um, meet them because they're already aware of everybody. However, with you, you only need to uh, just see that other faction, one of their armies, one of their agents, anything like that, and you'll meet them. So there's a double standard there. Thanks for Super Chat. Alright, send Setra in there as well, because he's got some bombs. Yeah, there's loads and loads of double standards in Total War games. If you think you're playing a true sandbox game, you are mistaken. Like, the more sandbox they make it, the better, but CA have always programmed the AI to have double standards. In fact, one of the few Total War games where the AI doesn't have double standards is actually Medieval 2. I can't think of a single instance where the uh, AI has, like, like just disobeys the rules of the game. But in pretty much every Warscape engine game, the AI just doesn't play by the same rules as you. It's kind of... I think they do it in order to make the game... Well, for one thing, to make the AI appear competent, because a lot of the time they, I think... They make the AI just bypass certain rules so that um, it's just not a strain on them because they just can't cope with complex mechanics. They try to simplify it as much as possible for them. Like, for example, in Empire Total War... Right, I'm just going to go up on the walls now. In Empire Total War... When the game first came out, the AI would never attach armies into uh, navies. And so if you played as Great Britain, it was impossible to lose because the AI would never invade Great Britain. They just didn't know how to do it. This one here is getting wrecked. Let's get him out of there. Uh, no, you stay here. Stop fighting, etc. Rome 2 initial AI starving itself out. Yeah, so the Rome 2 AI doesn't know how to manage food. It still doesn't, but they just gave it more cheats with food. This is why in Rome 2, when you like go and conquer a settlement, you'll often find it's nothing but military buildings. Same thing with Total War Attila. They just can't manage complex mechanics like food. <coughs> it's actually a real indictment of the, uh, the Total War AI. They just get free passes because they can't manage things. Got another banishment coming soon. I don't do anything, so whatever.
Do you think Cetra can be a good one-man doom stack? Uh, not a good one, but he can do it. He can do it. I don't recommend it. There's no reason to make a one-man doom stack as Tomb Kings. I got enough magic for another banishment, but if I am not careful, I will hit my own units now. I think this area over here looks like prime spot for a banishment. If I can time it when this guy's walking right past, that'd be even better. Tempted to cast it right underneath this, but I, I could just hit my own units. It's not worth the risk. Okay, Setra just put the curse down on everyone. Time to get him out of here. Oh, he's getting wrecked by... Fucking foot square, I gotta get them out of there. Get him out, get him out. Let's get these guys off the wall over here. Alright, if I can get the Light Wizard over here, maybe I could cast it. Can't use the unlimited range. Bug. I didn't even really make use of the archers in this battle. Uh, maybe shoot this one a little bit. Closer. Leonardo Alves did a 2R super chat. Alright, thanks, do appreciate the super chat with uh, clapping hands. Cool. Why does he keep doing that? Alright, get inside. Uh, whoa, 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 hang on a second there. You might be anti large, but you probably won't be able to take on Knights of the Realm. I'll bring some more reinforcements over there to help. Can we get in here? One more banishment might win us the battle. Wait, what a mess. The 
What's going on here? Why? Yeah, it's just a it's just clogged up. Ah, uh, damn it! I got caught. Oh well. Okay, it might be best to hit these men at arms here. Yeah, I think this unit here is going to get wrecked. But that's okay. Pretty sharp to time. Get over here, over here. That's the army loss that happens in the next few seconds. That unit there is wiped out. Are skeleton spearmen better than skeleton warriors, or is this personal preference? They are better than than uh, skeleton warriors, definitely. Um. Especially considering that we go up against Bretonia early, having anti-large up against a faction that has a lot of cavalry is especially useful. Whereas the skeleton warriors are actually terrible melee fighters, and they just have um, pitiful melee defense. There we go. And it might actually survive if the army losses triggers quickly enough. There we go. Yeah, one of the biggest weaknesses with sieges with the Tomb Kings, especially in the early game, is that they can be very tedious because you have to use the melee infantry. Because that's what we got. But that's the end of Thegan's Errantry. They're finished. Now it's time to take out and finish off the Knights of Arrigo. Definitely would have sped things up if I had hired the other um, Cask of the Souls, which I'll get after this. Ogres, my lord. These brutish nomads are as strong as they are stupid, but do not underestimate them. They are hardy warriors and will cannibalize any foe that dares to cross them. Cool. Attend your king, slaves. Alright, well, I'm gonna need you to go pick up those ogres, my lord. The king moves. Cool. Do not cool. challenge me! Nehekara rises from the sands. Alright, here we go. We need to recruit some more units while I've got the Tahoth thing going. Yeah, we can recruit at much higher rank. We can get Nehekara boys. Yeah, okay. So the the common question of why skeleton spearmen over skeleton warriors. So let's have a look at just from a pure stats point of view and then from a tactical point of view. Skeleton warriors have, in this instance here, 21 melee attack. The skeleton spears only have 16 melee attack. That's five melee defense low. Sorry, melee attack lower, right? Also, weapon strength. They have 26 as opposed to 24. Uh, whoops. Um, so the skeleton spearmen against infantry are not as good, but infantry isn't the main threat, right? Large units are. So what are the bonuses that skeleton spears have over skeleton warriors? So. They have a bonus versus large plus 14. So that adds damage and um, melee attack against larger units. So if you were fighting a unit of Savage Orc Boar Boys, right? The Skeleton Spearmen have a way higher melee attack and damage than Skeleton Warriors. Now, if we have a look at melee defense, the melee defense here is 33 versus 42. There's a 9 melee defense difference. So even if you were just going up against a melee infantry army, having skeleton spears is about holding the line longer. While they might lose out on melee attack, they hold the line longer so they don't die quickly, allowing you time to do your maneuvers. So that's why skeleton spears are vastly better than skeleton warriors. Skeleton warriors, if they had anti-infantry, would be worth it, but they don't. You've also got Nehekara warriors. It says damage dealer, but I don't really see particularly high damage there. How did a two pound super chat? Ogres, my lord. Yep. All right, thanks for the chat. So ho hopefully that explains it for you. 
Alright, now I want to... Oh, never mind. I want to transfer some units over. Oh, well. There we go. He's got the Resurrect. That'll make a big difference in future battles. Alright, we need to... Uh, let's have a look here. Okay, let's merge this one. Victory on death. And grab the Casket of Souls. Then I'm Victory going to recruit <laughs> some more Skeleton Spears, because they're going to come in at higher rank. It would have been better if it was from the other army, but... Yeah. Like, they can't recruit now. Wait! Yes, they can. Ooh, trustworthy. That's a really good one. Cool. Yeah, I could have done that. And... Oh, it's still better if uh, Setra does the recruiting. Does he have a special item? Oh no, it's um this one here, isn't it? This one is yeah, recruit rank plus two for all units in the hero's army, right? Which is the best value Tomb King Regiment now? The Ethereal unit? Um <laughs> Regiment of Renown just higher um maybe the Kepra Guard, because you can actually get three of those. That's probably the best value. Alright, this guy here, I'm gonna get rid of him. Ah, oh, I actually shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just put him there. Alright. And this one here, yeah, that's fine. And how's, how's the settlement looking? Well, I can't get any more of these skeleton archers anyway, so why don't we just get rid of this, get some more money. Oh. I mean, what else am I going to build there? Growth? Yeah, I could build growth. It would be good to get more skeleton archers, though. You I can't get them now, obviously. I'm still at my cap. Alright, I think that's pretty much all I can do. Now that we've met Clan Moors, let's try to be friends with them as much as possible. They... Okay, cool. Can't trust them, but at the very least... If we could delay them attacking us, that would be good. So is that war with the mutinous skits and the top knots? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll go back to war with the top knots in a few turns, I think. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's really, really good that they've occupied Martek. Really? Oh, we got shit coming in here. All right. All right. I don't see anything else that needs to be done. Let's move on. Wait, hang on. Let's do that first. Yeah, the sooner we can start pounding her, the better. Make way. Okay. Yeah, they stood back there, so I... Oh, actually, I can get him. Huh. But I can only get him with Cetra. I must keep my mm. holy vow. No. Address me as your I think I can still finagle this around a little bit. Seek 
father, I command. Obviously, we don't want a huge drawn-out fight over here either. Just trying to think, how would be the best way we could smash? I mean, it's good that we've got two pieces of artillery now. That'll speed things up. This one here didn't get a level up from that previous battle. I don't have lightning strike. I usually don't get lightning strike with my tomb kings. I could have this guy here besiege the settlement, denying their reinforcements while Cetra attacks that, but that'll probably make him run away. Which is not what we want. Because let's be real, that's just full of melee infantry, full of garbage melee infantry as well. I don't think there's any way we're going to get out of this without like a, another fucking siege. I just have to do it. Either that or just wait around for ages, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I just gotta go for it. Now, funnily enough, this might make a good early game sack city. Let me just think. Should I sack it? No, 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 no. Let's just keep moving on. We don't need it. We don't need to sack it. Just let's just take it, be done with it, and move on. Try ambush them. Well, that wastes a turn. And I know I can win this. It's just. The problem here is not that I can't win it, it's that it's tedious fighting, that's all. But overall, it'll be quicker if we just do this. Yeah, this is an easier settlement to attack as well. Why well, can't Cetra confederate Kalida? It's just the mechanic. Wasn't Nagash a Tim King in the law though? Yeah, so Nagash is a bit of a weird one, because Nagash is a Nehekaran, but he's not a Tomb King. Thing is, as well, most vampires are also Nehekarans. Like, um, Kalida is a, is a Nehekaran. S wait, sorry. Did I say Kalida? I meant Neferata. <laughs> of course Kalida is a Nef- uh, a thing. Um, um, Vlad is a Nehekaran. Luther Harkon is a Nehekaran. But they're also vampires, because they were turned into vampires before the Nehekarans became the Tomb Kings. So the curse of undeath that the Tomb Kings suffer from, that is not the same curse of undeath that all the vampires suffer from, and Nagash doesn't suffer from it, the same one either. Oh, I definitely can't pronounce that. Y Yuri Moore did a 2,500 CZK Super Chat. Hey, Legend, just a small cheese tip for Cheese God. That's not small, dude. That's really appreciated. That's like... That's that's actually very generous of you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That is not small at all. So, you definitely could argue that... Like, for example, Arkan the Black is suffering from the, the curse of the Tomb Kings. Jimmy Jim Jim did a nine pounds of budget. Hi from the UK. If I got caught watching your videos in the House of Commons, I'd just say I was trying to look up tractors. Uh, good Total War Pond content. <laughs> okay, keep up the good work, mate. Stay motivated. Alright, thanks, dude. Thanks, Super Chat. Also, now we can regenerate, so that'll help a lot as well. Did I... No, no, you're just there. So, yeah, you could you could put Nagash in any of the undead factions, except for Vampire Coast. He's obviously not a pirate. You could put it... Here's the thing. I think he's best off in the Vampire Counts, because the Vampire Counts aren't truly vampires, right? Aren't aren't solely vampires because if you think about it what what is one of the factions in the game that's considered under the the, uh, the vampire counts um heinrich kemmler and he is definitely not a vampire now the true name of the vampire counts is the undead right so nagash is among er anything else he's definitely a necromancer so he'd be like another necromancer legendary lord
Context and MP. P got caught watching porn in the House of Commons. Oh, okay. I don't follow that kind of shit. I for one welcome Pirate Nagash. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm... I would like to see Nagash have a unique ability where he can confederate all all undead legendary lords. I'd really like to see that. Imagine a faction where you... Except for Cetra. He shouldn't be able to confederate Cetra. Imagine a faction where you had... Oh, he shouldn't be able to confederate um, Ketep or Kalida either. Imagine if you had a faction where you've got all the vampire counts plus Neferata whenever she comes in. Luther Harkon. Um, I don't think he should be able to confederate um, Sartosa or even um, Silostra. But yeah, he should be able to confederate Manfred, Vlad, and by extension Isabella, Heinrich Kemmler, Arkham the Black, um... Luther Harkon, did I ever say Luther Harkon? And um, Count Noctilus. That's what I think he should be able to do. And it should be unique to a Nagash campaign. Alright, we're in a little bit of a mess here. Alright, let's bring the wizard up. Nagash probably won't spread vampire corruption either. He probably would. Because vampire corruption is like undead corruption. Where did I put it? Oh yeah, there you go. Huge group of infantry. Let's go. Let's go smash them. Yeah, this is one of the big problems when having uh, Tomb Kings or Vampire Count armies. Just because you have so many bloody troops, it just causes a bit of lag. So even at three times speed, it's just not not that fast. That'd be OP as fuck. Who cares if it's OP as fuck? Just make it fun. Who cares? Just disable it in multiplayer. Multiplayer campaigns and make it single player only. I think CA could really benefit from having separate rules in single player and multiplayer. Because, like, in many ways, multiplayer really does hurt single player. The single player experience. They just need separate balancing. You know, put all the OP fun shit in single player, and then make it balanced in multiplayer. And, it, you know, if you, if, if you want to play a single player balanced experience, you can just force yourself to do that. Why shouldn't he be able to confederate the other Tomb Kings? Uh, because they hate him by default. Alright, so how's that cast? 189, okay. Alright, let's do some more. So long for Immortal Empires as well. Yeah, I know, right? No. What are you gonna do? I'd love to. I'd love to meet the guy who made all of these um, marketing or just like planning decisions, right? <laughs> So yeah, what we're gonna do is release this really unpopular campaign first, and then we'll make everyone wait six months before the, the thing that they actually want comes in. Give me a promotion. I can just imagine, like, the employees at Creative Assembly getting, like, a schedule on what things are gonna be like, and then being like, Oh man, we're fucked. Um, sir, this is gonna backfire. Nah, man. People want to play a really painful campaign, don't they? You realize you've got the blood god in there with blood fountains and we have no blood for six months. So what? People will wait. Two balance rules means 
and more men to maintain NCAA's cost. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, they do like to pay minimum. Pit of Shades or Banishment, which one's better? I'd say Pit of Shades is better. I just I can't recruit Shadow Wizards right now, and it usually takes usually takes so long to get Shadow Wizards that I've already recruited all of my Light Wizards by then. Imagine being the DLC team and shouldn't see the shit unfold. Yeah, I know, I know. All right, let's let's redirect, or else it's going to end up in a CA bashing session. I just wanted to have a little bit of a joke and then move on. I can already I can already tell that um, you know I flared up the um, interest in it, and let's let's just move on. Spicy meatball. All right. These guys here would actually be best shooting from this direction. Right over the walls into this area. No Dark Elves? No. M maybe next week. Um, I guarantee you, if I had played Dark Elves, people would have come on and been like, What? No Tomb Kings? Do you know how I felt lately? I felt like I've been caught between a rock and a hard place where every single decision I do make makes people unhappy. Makes some people unhappy. That's what it feels like lately. Hey Legend, play Warhammer 2. Cool, I'm playing Warhammer 2. Why aren't you playing Warhammer 3? Okay, I play Warhammer 3. Why aren't you playing Warhammer 2? Alright, I'm playing Warhammer 2. Why are you playing Mortal Empires? Play Vortex Campaign! Okay, I play Vortex Campaign. No, I'm playing Mortal Empires! Legend, you should do a challenge run. Okay, I do a challenge run. Why Why are you doing a challenge run? Legend, play Tomb Kings. Okay, I play Tomb Kings. Why are you playing Tomb Kings? Ah, oh, shoot me. Legend, why can't you do every possible combination of campaigns all at once? Can't please everyone, mate. Yeah, I know, but it's just like, it's more, it's always been that way, but it feels like it's more pronounced now than, than usual. Like, it's always there to some degree. But like, it just, at, over the past few months, it just feels like, I just can't, I can't win. Everything just pisses people off. That's what it feels like. I don't know if that's actually true. This is what'll make you happy. Legend, you should play what you want to play. Okay, I want to play Warhammer 2. No, I meant you should play what I want you to play. <laughs> but whatever. You can never please everyone, so stop trying to. But that's... <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you think they will finally add fire, poison, and other stuff to Blood DLC? Probably not. I, look, I don't know. Why have you not been driven mad yet? Oh, it's it's coming. I think I'll dr be driven mad within the next year or so. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going mad. You know, you can just I can just imagine myself as at the age of seventy, um, you know, in a straight jacket, sitting in an old person's home. Legend, why don't you play this? Why don't you play that? Why don't you play Paradox Games Legend? Why don't you play Skyrim Legend? Why don't you play Elden Ring Legend? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Ah! <laughs> People look at me and be like, see that guy? He used to run a YouTube channel. Oh. Alright, how are they going for kills? Yep, pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, let's bring up the archers now. And maybe try to shoot those Grail Knights, because even though we're anti-large, they're still such a strong unit, and they do have physical resistance.
Do you kill Parthenax in Skyrim? I've never gotten to the point where I can kill Parthenax. To the other one, why just you on Twitch? Oh, that one's easy though. Yeah, yeah, I do get that a lot, but that's an easy one. Why would anybody stream on Twitch if you're doing Total War? Why would anybody stream on Twitch? It's quite obvious YouTube is the, the right platform if you're streaming Total War. But whatever, it's each their own. Do you use the Mortuary Call to make items or just armor cap increase? Um, the army cap increase is definitely the best value, but sometimes I do like to create items. Hi, Bum did a twenty dollar super chat. Hi, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, thanks, super chat. I want you to enjoy your day. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, I want you guys to enjoy your day as well. Yeah. In the previous battle, I wasn't really able to use my archers too well because the angles were wrong, but uh, it's working out pretty well here. They're getting decent kills. They took out the uh, Grail Knights there. They're not going to be of any real threat. But it's time to get ready to launch the attack. But let's try to put only the full strength units up on the wall. Do I even need to fight up on the wall? Yeah, I probably should. While these ones here... On. Go through here. Probably could have been healing this entire time. Maybe I should... Expect it to catch up. Ask the French Total War community. They're all on Twitch. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, whoops. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, that Resurrect is such a good ability. That's why I try to rush for it. Alright, we should be able to cast one more Banishment before the battle's over. If we can get them to clump up over here, that'd be good. There's another Grail Knight over here, but I don't think I'm going to have to fight it. These guys here did a good job. They killed off a lot of high-value units. Grail Knights, um, Foot Squires... Of everything. I know you typically don't use mods, but have you thought about playing Wormer 3 with the mods that turns off the Chaos Gate campaign mechanic? It has made the experience way better for me. Um, I thought about it, but I decided that it, um, I, that I just didn't want to. Like, if you, the, here's the thing, if you turn off the main campaign, the rifts, in Wormer 3, the game kind of gets dull. Like, it just doesn't have much going for it. Um, yeah, I just don't think Warhammer 3 is as good as Warhammer 2 right now. That's that's it to it. I got nothing against that mod. In fact, it's a great mod, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, I don't see any... I just don't, I just don't want to use it. Franz Erberl did a 50 euro super chat. I found myself watching nothing but your streams and VODs for the past few months. Thanks for taking, thanks for the great content and the quality of it. 
You've become my go-to entertainment whenever I feel like chilling and having a good time. Greetings from Germany. All right, thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. Um, that's very generous of you. You guys are being super generous today. I appreciate that. All right, ready for another banish? Nope, not yet. What spell do you primarily use as Marathi? Soul Steal or Pit of Shades? Probably Pit of Shades is better. Uh, Soul Stealer if you want to like quickly generate some health. FPS problems or is YouTube lagging? Yeah, no, YouTube's not lagging. It's just a lot of lot of entities on the battlefield. That's all. It's, it's undead. This is uh, this is common. And also, it's like two full stacks versus two full stacks on a siege. This is uh, this is the norm. Unless you've got an absolute supercomputer. If I, yeah, I don't think going on triple speed is actually speeding it up at all. Good, Setra's getting some good damage in there. That's what I want to see. Alright, Banishment is one Winds of Magic away. That's uh, 33 seconds. Uh, hang on, hang back, hang back. We don't want you get getting hit by that. Just come up on the walls. Yeah, there are just so many enemies here. Oh god, there go my frames. Do dwarves need another update after Warriors of Chaos and Norska? Yeah, I'd say so. I don't think that the uh, dwarf rework that came in um, for Warhammer 2 was particularly good. Like, it, it was okay. It definitely improved them a little bit, but it was nothing compared to the Beastman update. Absolutely nothing. In many ways, I think that the Dwarves might be the weakest race in Warhammer 3. And I know that'll probably put me in the book, but hey, it's not my fault Creative Assembly deliberately designed them to be shit. Because yeah, with magic resistance getting nerfed, with walls no longer being very useful, yeah, the Dwarves... Yeah, everything that made the dwarves strong in Warhammer 2, it's getting taken away from them. I just don't know how they're going to cope. So, yeah. Generally speaking, you don't use your chariots in a siege. Even if they're anti-infantry, they'll still do a shit job. Wolf's need engineer focus DLC. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah. That would help them. Something with like a really good single entity. That'd really help them out. The Thunder Barge or Rune Golem. Something like that would be really handy for them. Because every other race in the game has got at least one thing that's like really powerful. But the dwarves, their biggest, baddest unit is organ guns. Which they're still good. But, you know, other races have got similar type artillery to it anyway.
Yeah, completely out of wins now. I've been drained. Alright, we can bring in all of them except for this one. And I'll just tell them to make an attack and they'll just pathfind. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, see they go to different uh, different letters. See that's how you pathfind properly. Imagine being a regular footman in Warhammer lore. Can you be more fucked? Clash with all monstrosity of known world. Yeah, well, that's kind of the theme of Warhammer. Yeah, basically, if you live in the Warhammer world, you're basically fucked. Unless you live in Ulthwan, you're okay most of the time. Except for when the Dark Elves invade. You know, which is constantly. But, you know, if there was one place in the world that you probably would want to live, I'd say it'd be Ulthwan. That's just me. What's it, the big bad single entity for Empire? Steam tanks? Yeah, steam tanks and griffins. Victories in our grasp. Cool. Oh, that, that ability is going to be so much better in Warhammer 3 when it's able to regenerate a percentage health rather than uh, a flat number. Well, it might be better. They might nerf the shit out of it. There's no reason to nerf the uh, Tomb Kings, though. They're, they're exactly where they should be, and they always have been. Like, dead smack right in the middle of, of the strength ranking. Neither OP nor underpowered. They're exactly where they need to be. Creative Assembly did such a good job on the Tomb Kings. Send in the Necrotex. I have a habit of getting Necrotex killed. I think I'd rather just keep it out of it for now. It's not like it's a great fighter anyway. Could you tell exactly what factions become dumb if you want to become friends with them on Legendary in Warhammer 3? Any faction becomes dumb. Yeah, it doesn't matter which it is. Whether it's a player control, like a major faction, minor faction, whatever. Um, all factions become stupid, stupefied, when they become your friends. I'll, I'll use a perfect example of it, right? Um, Miao Ying. So, Miao Ying normally gets mega, mega cheats, right? But if you're playing as Zhao Ming and you become her friend, she'll just lose all of them. She'll immediately become like a stupefied moron, make really dumb attacks and just lose in order resolve, even against basic units. Um... That's the real indictment. They lose in order resolve constantly if they're your friends. So you have to um, constantly back them up. So yeah, it doesn't matter which faction it is. Um, allies become practically worthless. If they're not fighting the battle manually, which requires you to babysit them. Okay, this one here is just taking a bit too much damage. It's done a- oh my god. I love Kemri and War Sphinxes. I think they're great. They're finding a lot of spearmen as well and they still do a good job. But you know, just gotta get that grind on. You've done enough. Go back. That only happens in Warhammer 3, right? Allies in Warhammer 2 are still fine? Yeah, it's it's a primarily a Warhammer 3 problem. Do you think Tomb Kings are the hardest as a Total War faction? No, I would say that Wood Elves would probably... No, 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 sorry. Um... Norska would be the hardest as a Total War campaign faction. Norska. 
In Warhammer 2, at least. Yeah. Uh, Tomb Kings would definitely be a headache, but you can manage it. You wouldn't expand very quickly, but that's most This Is Total War campaigns. Except for Skaven. Skaven benefit from This Is Total War more than anyone. Skaven and Beastmen. Because, like, the more you fight, the, the stronger you become. This is the longest save you've watched. Man, I, I can I can tell you it's definitely not the strong, longest siege I've ever played. I know it's a long one, but there's just so many units in here. What, dude? What can I do to speed it up? Do you think I've got all of my units fighting everywhere? What could I do to speed it up? It's just there's so many units in here. That's the problem. No, I'm completely out of magic, completely out of ammo. You know, if I bring in the chariots, they're just going to get wrecked. It's just, there's just so many people to kill, that's all. That's why it's taking so long. I can't really speed it up. Come on, guys. Move over to here. Oh, shit. A oh, good thing the army losses came into effect. God damn. <laughs> we do not want to lose the bloody Kamin Wolf Sphinx. Alright, we're good. There we go. There we go, it's over. Take the center. Well, I can't just jump over the walls. It's done now, but yeah. It would have been great if I could have just immediately taken the center. I don't know how I could have done that, though. Say Bretonia is near impossible since you declare war on neighbor Bretts and lose massive chivalry. Who cares if you lose chivalry? It doesn't matter. Alright, we didn't lose anything important, so that's fine. And. Oh, just occupying. Good. Hmm, that is going on, etc. God, I haven't gotten any equipment so far. This is the first bit of it. Alright. Finally, transfer this over into Cetra. Transfer some of these over to this dude so that Cetra can recruit higher tier experience units. Oh, we got more, um, got more archers. Yeah, that would be better. Cool. How much longer is the Tahoth thing remaining? Three turns. Okay, now this guy here... Um, you may leave for this one. Nice. So yeah, his red line is done now. Kemrian War Sphinx. Oh, I could have gotten that last turn. Uh, I mean, that would have been good, but Resurrect was really handy there, so whatever, I got now. Alright, and you, let's see that's good. Yeah, I do need to get that towards Arcane Conduit. I doubt this research rate will make any difference. Let's see. We're at 15%. If we um, if we get this, I doubt this 2% will do anything. But let's see. Yeah, it didn't. But whatever. Need to get it anyway. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we can get two more battles out of him. Alright, let's have a look. What do we got? Chariot Master. Nice. Okay, you're fired. Oh, you don't actually need to be fired. Okay. 
Oh, you know what would be better, actually? If we wait one turn and put a point into Petra the Great, because that way we'll recruit him at two ranks higher. Yeah, that would be better. So I'll just recruit him next turn. Yeah, okay. War Sphinx over Chariot? Yeah, I just prefer the Chariot. Okay, this guy here, just keep scouting, making sure nothing... Going. Wow, oh god, that's... Oof. Okay, can you go to war with those greenskins? Wow, okay. Well, alright then. Shit, I might have a great Skaven friendship. Let me see, how much would a gift provide? Nah. Nah. Alright, so next up is Rapunce, but we need to make sure that Lacqua doesn't uh, get all uppity in her face. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, can I get Rapunce? No, no, don't do that. Okay, good. We're at tier 3 here. Now, at tier 3... Tier 4 is where you really want to be at. And that takes the longest to get the growth. There's such a big leap from tier 3 to tier 4. Um, hmm. Because, yeah, getting Tomb Scorpions is really good. I don't see anything particularly valuable here. Like, I don't really care that much for a T. So let's just upgrade that. And that requires some growth. And 15 grand. But that would provide a lot of benefits. Yeah, I think I will build that, but I need to get some money. Yeah, I will build that, because one growth in that big deal. Alright, where am I going to get that money from? I could demolish these, eventually. I'll give me some money. Demolishing this would... Mm. I'm not recruiting those units. Oh, Harbingers of Disaster. Are you still around? I think I might need to make them a little bit more friendly. Court of Libaris. Oh, I can't join the war against them, right. I feel like it wasn't that long ago, I... I oh, God. Yeah, I'll just wait. Alright, we'll build that. No, 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 hold off. I need to build, build this thing. Yeah, that'll be really handy. Okay, and let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. So if you keep feeding them money and sign a trade agreement, but never go for non-aggression pact or any other alliance, they still become dumb and weak. I think I think the degree to which they become weak depends on how much they like you and how friendly they are to you. I don't know the exact mechanic. All I've noticed is that your allies just lose their brain cells in Warhammer Three. Oh sh! I think they sacked it. Wait, what? I don't actually know what happened. Okay, if we fight this battle manually, we can we can get one more victory out of it. Yeah. The ports. Why would I want the ports? The port building is probably the least cost-effective uh, building for the Tomb Kings. All it does is provide growth. That's it. Legend, why do you keep changing lords? Uh, cheese. Alright, there's nothing to worry about here, but just need to go through the motions. Just AFK the entire battle, don't really need to do anything. It's revealing fog of war that removes water resolve sheets. So just don't military access or alliance? Okay.
It looks like Top Knots won against Claire Moores. Yeah, I guess that's a good thing. Because... Clan Moors could be very dangerous if they if they get too strong. So the more we can mitigate them, the better. And I don't want to fight them right now. Let them go. How do you deal with Scarbrand as Katarin? He melts her. Um... You want to be recruiting war sleds, light war sleds. Between Arkan and Cetra, which faction effect do you think is stronger in late game? Cetra. Yeah, because he provides loads of growth and loads of public order, so it's really helpful in those red territories and in green territories. So his his provinces grow faster, which is always better. Yeah, fighting quick is the worst. We'll have to do it eventually, but I just want to put it off as long as possible. The day of awakening. Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquests spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by even the most distant. All right, so grabbing this will allow us to recruit that tomb prince at a higher level. Yeah, very nice. Now, funny thing here, though, is that the archers would be better in... Well, not yet. Uh, eventually be better in a different army. Keep Cetra with the uh, the melee infantry. Alright, let's have a look here. You get Elixir of Immortality. Yes. Yes, there you go. Elite priests have me wary. I aim it. Alright, let this be the end of them. Good. Faris is out of here. And this time I'll take the... I'll take the Knopper Charles. Any tips for playing Sisters of Twilight? Yeah, um, get Hawk Riders. They're really, really good. For Sisters of Twilight, that is. All right, looking at them, they're in a weakened state. So I usually leave Kofra as a sack city because that is always able to keep recruiting new lords. Not, although Martek would be good, um, the problem there is if they don't build a farm, it's a problem. Hmm. All right, let me see here. Let's... Stand here, so we're in friendly territory, because it'll take a couple of turns to get there anyway. Oh, a little bit further. So what I'm trying to do here is recruit better, um... Spearman. How am I doing this? Okay, that should be fine. And then we gotta get rid of one of these. Yep. Okay. Is it better to keep Cetra on a Sphinx or his Chariot? It just comes down to personal preference. There's no better. They're both good mounts. It just depends on what you prefer. They have different specialities. Alright. Alright, alright. So... Oh, I've almost got the 15 grand. Does anybody like me at all? I do not care about death. 
Mm, okay. Yeah, it was weird that um, they actually won there. Good for them. And the thing is, them building this here, they still can't recruit anything, so they won't recruit another lord, which is really good. Whatever... I mean, eventually they'll send what's-his-face over there, and that'll get beaten up. Alright, get rid of this dude. I think I forgot to get rid of him last turn. And we need to get a Tomb Prince, so let's get him. Chariot Master. Good, off you go. Don't need to rename them. Yes. Okay, that's good. Good, our second eligible wizard, and there's no more Necrotex left to go. Alright, we've got another Tomb Prince over here, but he can keep searching that out. Alright, that's good. That's good. Alright. Um, don't need anything from there right now. Our research rate is at 87%. What do you think about the Tomb King rights? Uh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Yeah. Right, the military presence is over here. That might be where Rapance is. Yeah, it's, well, it just depends if Rapance is even here or not, but... That is usually the settlement that I go for if I want to start getting Channel Valley Necrotex. For Sac Cities. It doesn't have to be that one. But yeah, there's only three mountain areas in this area, unless we want to go all the way over here. How am I going to get the money for this, this turn? I don't think I can. Nope. Okay, let's move on. I caught the Skaven Plague as Norska, but I'm not taking any attrition. Is this a bug or a feature? The, uh, the Norskans are immune to Skaven Plague. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Have you ever tried a trustworthy Tomb Prince diplomacy cheese where you make ridiculous alliances? N no, I, yeah, you can do that, but I've, I've never done it. I don't worry about it too much. You can get... You can get um, trustworthy with your lords. Alright, now we can get rid of these. Get rid of that one there. Shouldn't be in major settlements. Okay, I might get enough money from that from loot. Assuming I can reach it. Can reach Kofa though. All right, why don't you just come down over here? How many units are there? Thirteen. I doubt that this guy will be able to win on his own, but let's just go have a. L oh, hang on. Oh yeah, he can't fucking make it. Okay. Well, I guess I can have this guy go and have a little look. Come on, Reparts, be there. All right. Here's an interesting idea. What if we sack the settlement and allow the lizard men to take it? Of course, if they head over this way, then I'll stop them. I won't let them take out Rapance. But yeah, we gotta get a defeat trait. Where's Enri? Well, he's not there. He's immortal anyway. So she's rank 5. Wish there was something I could do to give her um, increased healing time. Anyway. Oh shit, I forgot to do that last turn. Um, how about you first?
Cool, so if we have a look at it at the moment, we're gaining 20 per turn from characters. So you just keep building up more and more. So that brings us uh, a 24. Just get loads of momentum. This is why we didn't pick the uh, the Canopic Jar options before. My father demands it. Make way. Move death away. My king. Attend me. Lax Shulozo Kiko Kwatok Mato. Would have liked the money. Alright, let's kill him. For the lady's justice. What is your Good tidings, your majesty? So yeah, we'll just sack this. Now should I bring this guy in? Oh are any of the other lords now they're not available yet. Hmm. Cause I'd have to force march him here. It might be best if I don't. Yeah, just stay there. I think Cetra can handle this on his own. We'll be outnumbered by a little bit, but uh, we're high level. We can handle it. Even the order resolve says so. If we do order resolve, no, definitely don't do that. All right, let's do this. So that's uh, this will be our first time getting a reparts trait. Extra five percent technology rate is really handy. Have you ever tried? Tr oh, I already read that out. Um, five percent research rate, ten percent growth locally, double XP first breaths. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Really good trait for the Tomb Kings. Really, really good. Since they struggle with their research rate, and they get such uh, good benefits out of it. You can also farm Ica Claw, but Rapunz is a lot easier to farm. Okay, that seems... Ooh, yeah. Very rarely gamble anymore just because of what... Son of a bitch! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Why even put that mechanic in there? You do me so dirty. The artillery, I don't think, is in range. The, yeah, the more of it shoots us over here, the better. Send the chariots around, but the enemy cavalry is faster than us, so I gotta be careful there. Oh shit, 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 shit. <laughs> shit. Ah, oh, damn it. It caught me. I had a feeling there was somebody coming around my flank there. I think overall, though, we're still winning. Okay, here we go. This will. Be a big help, I think. 
I think the artillery here is still not shooting at anything good. Yeah, it isn't. Okay, that's good. Alright, Cetra is taking too much damage. Gotta get him out of that. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Come on, Cetric, get out of there. Alright, sure the army losses is soon. Alright, now they're shooting at us, but it's a bit late. They've definitely lost. Yeah, there it is. Alright, took a bit of a beating, but I think we're okay. Alright, just want to take this opportunity here to heal these two up a little bit. Because we could get declared war on by the lizards over the end turn if we're not careful. Yeah, it's probably the only heal I'm going to get. They're running off the battlefield pretty quick. Legend, have you ever thought about making a second channel and stream other games you like? Would you have time? I don't have time. Yeah, I don't have time to do that. The thing is, if I do that, then I won't be here. So, how could I... I can't, I can't make that work. You know, if I could create a duplicate of myself that could uh, stream two things on two different channels at once, that'd be great. But it's, it's not feasible. And you know, starting a channel from scratch takes ages to get it up and running. I, I can't make that work. Yeah, that's a really good trait for us. Channel Valley Necrotect. Nice. Alright, hopefully this guy will just come over here and occupy that. Alright, Cetra can disband some of this trash. It might be time to get rid of the skeleton chariots. They're really not going to help us any further. Alright, what do we want next? That's good for public order. And extra... Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, let's grab that. Greatest. Cool. This helps them to make, uh, make them less shit. Everything. Cool. The land of the dead. Alright, they back each other up. As long as they don't lightning strike us, which I don't think they can, should be fine. Alexander McCoy did a $10 super chat. Hi Legend, first time catching you live. What's your favorite kind of battle map to fight on? Choke point, siege, open field, lots of terrain? Thanks for super chat. It depends on the army that I have. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, I would say this. Ambush battles. Ambush are my favorite, because the AI is so shit. Uh, thanks for the super chat, appreciate it. But yeah, the type of map that I want depends on what I've got. Like, if I'm running a cavalry-based army, then basically I want a flat field, right? If I'm running an archer-based army, maybe I would want a choke point. If I'm running a melee infantry army, hills could be very useful. So it just depends on what you've got.
Okay. Funnily enough, I watched a Charlemagne campaign video earlier and Legend reference the second channel. I did actually used to have a secondary channel. Um, it's still there if you want to see the old content. Uh, but I stopped... I stopped um, taking it seriously. I barely ever log into it anymore. Um, I stopped taking it seriously when I started taking this channel here like really seriously. When this channel here took off. Um, and I, I redirected my energy. Because what I used to do... Uh, was put like 50% effort into this channel, 50%, it well, was more like 60-40. Um, and when this channel started taking off, I started putting 100% of my time and energy into this one, and it really paid off. Um, if I, if I was to go back to that now, redistribute my energy, you know, you'll see a lot fewer videos on this channel. And I just don't see any value in that. All right, I got the money that I needed for this. Cool. So in 10 turns, that'll give me... Some pretty good bonuses, I guess. It's very expensive, but uh, we'll be okay. All right, let's check with Malagor. You want to give me some money? Uh, things are deteriorating with him. Yeah. All right, what if... Oh, that's right, I can't offer to join war against... Their enemies. Oh, we had a good run with him. He gave us two loads of two grand. We had a good run. Okay, let's move on. Cool. Good. That means one fewer enemies for me. Now we could go and attack them as well, because we we do want to get the Charnel Valley Necrotect. I'm not going to make it to Kofa, but do we really want more enemies? Yeah, whatever. What are they going to do? Well, that is just pure trash. They are stronger than us. Let me have a little look at the um, Rakaf dynasty. Yeah, they will not pick a fight with them. Oh yeah, did I forget to do any checking? Uh, this Tomb Prince here, this one isn't needed. Let me just check what's going on over here. Okay, and then get rid of him. Make sure he doesn't have any items. Cool, get rid of him. Yeah, I think I will declare war on them, but it's time to mer uh, disband you. Disband you. Ah, oh, shit, the Tahoth stuff's gone. Yeah, get somebody that we were... We've already recruited, but isn't rank 5, so you'll do. And hopefully we get some more Charnel Valley Necrotex. I might leave this guy here, actually, to just keep sacking it. Because Cetra on his own should be powerful enough now to take Kofa. Not Co not take Kofa, sack Kofa. As long as I, I don't drag my heels, I should be able to attack it next turn. Yeah. Alright, I think we can maybe even get away with an auto-resolve here. 
Yeah, that's fine. It did a lot of damage to the secondary army, which is good. I definitely could have done better myself, but that, that was fine. Saves a bit of time. Good. That's another Charnel Valley Necrotect. That means two that we've got now. So yeah, this guy's going to remain here for a little bit. Okay, according to this, we'll make it there next turn. And we'll be at full strength. Okay. Alright, that looks good. So yeah, that might bring some more armies over here. And we'll just use this guy to just keep sacking it over and over again. Start getting more Channel Valley Necrotex. Alright, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nah, just leave that. I don't don't need one Ushab team. Yeah, when we get there, we just sack it. And then we start moving our way down. I think we'll attack the Knights of the Flame before we go after... Um, thingy. Although I do need another army to... Ah, oh, whatever. They'll be fine. Alright, build this up because I could use a little bit of extra cash income and just leave all that be. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And moving on. What's this? Nah. Alright, moving on. At what point do your AI allies lose their cheats? Is it once you have defensive alliance? Dude, I don't know. I, I don't know the exact things with it. All I know is that they do lose their cheats. Apparently it's got something to do with Fog of War. Would have been good if that was tic-tac-toe sitting in there. So I could have gotten 10% campaign movement range. No threat. Unless they're trying to attack Xandri, which then that is the threat. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. This one dude here might be able to beat the garrison there. Recruit another army! Alright, so this guy here, uh, well, Cetra could go take him out, but Cetra needs to come over this way. My lady will not allow it. Alright, we need to sack this. Let's do it. That's pretty good as well. It might be a good idea to see if we can draw them out on the field, because I know you guys get sick of these damn siege battles. Yeah, I figured that might happen. If they don't want to fight, they don't want to fight. I can't force them. Yeah, that could be useful somewhere. I just don't know where. 
Not right now, though. Well, I can auto-resolve it, but that would be a huge mistake, because then I'd be in terrible shape going forward, so we have to fight it manually. Just gotta do it. I should walk out of this with minimal damage, though. I don't think we'll need to bring the melee infantry up on the wall. They'll only have minimal number of archers. If we target them with the magic, we should be fine. Um, the magic's now cheaper. And Cetra and the Cambrian War Sphinx can heal. I don't think that's going to be in range, is it? Yeah, it might be. Let's move up just a little bit. Can't followers be gained only if there's no other, no other of the type equipped? Uh, maybe. Oh, whoops, that's not good. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I gotta get rid of these damn archers. Looks like there's three of them. Uh, let's let's bomb them with magic, because it's hard to hit them with uh, walls with uh, hit them while they're on the walls with magic. So at 15 magic a pop, yeah, it's a bit cheaper than it was before, and we've oh, don't do that. There we got 115. Because we've gotten one more knowledgeable wizard since our last walled siege. Good. I really just want to get rid of the archers. Everything else will be easy to deal with. What are your opinions on hex rays for Arkan? Yep, they're good. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Fuck it, I'll just put it on top of myself. Get rid of this unit. Which it didn't. God, what a waste. Alright, time to bash through. Bring my archers up now since most of their archers are gone. Uh, let's just wait a little bit longer. Get rid of these knights here. They're surprisingly doing a lot of damage to the Kimmy and Wall Sphinx.
I suppose we'll get a little bit of replenishment when we sack it, so let's just move up and try it anyway. Out of there before we get shot up some more. Goddamn life magic. Alright, I think we just got rid of all their archers. Good, and we killed the enemy lord. Nice. Not gonna be able to regenerate to full, but that's okay, we should be fine anyway. There we go, there's the army losses. Well, minimal casualties. These guys here took a bit of a beating, but uh, we can heal with reanimate upgraded. I could probably get one more off before they uh, run off the battlefield. Hey, did you need any tips for Belagar campaign? Most of the Mad has a very good guide for uh, Belagar. I would go and watch that one. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but it's a very good guide. Yeah, it allows you to like take out Clan Scryer really early. It's a very good guide. He's got some really good guides for dwarfs. Because I'm not that much of a dwarf player. I don't really like dwarfs that much. So I don't naturally play them that often. You know what? That healing is nice. Is it unlimited uses? Yep, it's unlimited uses. It doesn't cost winds of magic. It doesn't have any entity limit, so you can heal an entire big blob. It just doesn't uh, revive entities from death, that's all. Why do people calling it Immortal Empires? Honestly, it's annoying. That's what it's going to be called, dude. That's what it's called. Mortal Empires 4, Warhammer 3, confirmed called Immortal Empires. I could have blown it up and they would have reoccupied it. But money... Okay, so just stay right there, because I reckon we'll sack that again next turn, and it will move me towards Lashiak. I might still be able to hit there next turn. If I fight the battle manually, I can heal. Alright. What do we need here? That would be good. Let's do that. <coughs> Excuse me. That is very good. He means nothing. Do I have any? Tra I don't have any trade agreements. Curses! <laughs> imagine, imagine calling up someone. Oh, I don't have my phone here. Ring, ring. Bleah. Oh, it's you. <laughs> deliver your message. I do not. So, deliver your message. It comes with a trade agreement. Agreed. Yeah, 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 whatever. I'll take the money. I got the goods. Here, I'll get you some salt. You can stick it in your eyes. 
Or should I get growth? Eh, I should probably get growth. Yeah, I'll get salt, whatever. Pretty funny it's called Immortal Empires for a game that's pretty dead. Yeah, yeah. It's it look it's only kind of dead. Oh man, it hurts. It really hurts. I can't really deny it, but it's uh, it's pretty dead at the moment. It's pretty dead. It hurts. All right, uh, you get yeah, okay. Although it might be better to go into ambush stance and... Because they might come over this way with this dude. Maybe. I wouldn't get as much replenishment, but that's okay. Alright, I got a little bit of cash, but nothing nothing really important to build. I think next turn, after this guy sacks this settlement, we'll swing him around over here so that he can start sacking this, because he doesn't have the trait from... thingy. Yeah. Alright, and let's move on. Oh, shit! <laughs> There's tic-tac-toe. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sacking the settlement next turn, but I might be able to get rid of that slan. I should have launched Warmoth 3 as early access. Yeah, the problem is though, uh, Warmoth... If any game that launches with early access kind of demands a lesser payment, and since they obviously want to um, make full price game... Yeah. Yeah, like, I feel you, I know. Yeah. This army would not be able to handle it, even if it is just that spam. But at least we can get him. Uh, do we have... That guy's got Skeletal Laborer. Yeah, none of them have the, the follower. Let's get rid of that. I don't need it here right now. I really wanted to just make my way down here and do this stuff. Things aren't going well for, um... Arkan, that's for sure. And I've still got to get nine turns until we get the next army. We're ages away from having enough Canopic Jars to do it that way. I may need to bring Setra back around over here. Yeah. To deal with this. Alright, well, let's just sack this first. I'll have to fight it manually because we need to get uh, these two healed up. This is a nothing army. It's not going to do anything to us. Negative one and three circle jerk coming. It's pretty much unavoidable. Every, every other minute, you know, I read a comment that's like. It's, it puts Warhammer 3 down in some way, and then it just, like, everybody just... It's a domino effect, just keeps going. So I talk about this, um... Negative energy loop. Negative energy breeds more negative energy. Positive energy breeds more positive energy, but it's a lot harder. It's a lot easier to be negative and just be like, Everything sucks! That's easy.
Is money cheese still available for Tomb Kings? Yep. Yep. None of the Tomb Kings cheeses have been removed. See, so yeah, I pretty much just left the Tomb Kings alone since they were launched. Because Tomb Kings are a very rare exception to Creative Assembly where a faction launches pretty much perfectly. You know, they really don't need to make any changes to the Tomb Kings. The only thing that affected the Tomb Kings, I suppose, is the growth nerf. What's your thoughts on the Snake Lady Lord for Camry? I think she's the weakest out of the four. Anyone notice the Steam review recent review score for women three or forty percent? Yeah, I think if it drops one percent more, it'll actually go into the mostly negative. Which I've don't think I've ever seen a main total war game get main um like primarily negative. Alright, what I think I need to do is lure Tic Tac Toe into a trap. If Cetra can come over here and ambush dance, right? Ah, uh, Tic Tac Toe can't reach. I want to get rid of this dude here, though. Okay, hang on. I can still make this work. Get rid of this dude. And since Tic Tac... Oh, wait. Now we can. Alright, just stay right there. That way if Tic-Tac-Toe attacks him, we can withdraw if we absolutely need to. We get rid of this fatso. Now this guy here can go into ambush stance. So maybe we could... It just depends if uh, Tic Tac Toe feels like he can even take Cetra on. Definitely shouldn't be force marching. That'd be a huge mistake. Alright, what do we need? That would be okay once we actually have some Tomb Guard. I, I know I've got one in the army, but it's not worth it right now. Um, what would also be good? Start to go down Magic Line. Trample of the Ages is good. Don't really need it right now, though. That's good. Don't really need it right now, though. Alright, getting some better magic abilities would be good. I do like to go down the magic line with him. Yep. Alright, let's have a look at what we can see here. Open the casket of souls. My father Okay. Yeah, my army was blocking Tic Tac Toe, that's right, yeah. Served me a knife. Now death. Okay. Well, we just gotta wait and see what happens here. Because what might happen is, uh, they just, like, push forward towards Al Hayek or something like that. Um, if this one here catches him in Force March and we ambush him, we probably wouldn't win just because we're primarily um, spearmen. I don't think it would work. I don't have any good spells yet. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, growth is coming along here. Wish I could speed. Oh, I could speed up a little bit, but the cost has gone down.
All right, I got an idea. I got an idea. Take this dude. Get rid of him. I have a... I got two channel ne valley necrotex, but I can really only use one of them here. Take it off Cetra. So don't build it next turn, but... Sorry, not this turn, but next turn, and we can reduce the construction cost. If I do this one, I can do it by a further 10%. Eh. But I'd much rather get the growth. That's what we're trying to get here. And also increase this province's public order, which will also help with growth. Alright, cool. And let's move on. Would you be interested in playing another tic-tac-toe campaign? Probably not. No. Probably one of the least popular campaigns I could do. <coughs> hmm. The big question here is whether or not I can even win it. It's got Mournfang Cavalry. You know, we're not at full strength. If I withdraw, I can bring in my other army next turn. That's why I put him in ambush stance. I don't think Tic-Tac-Toe can reach me. I was right on, right on the edge of his movement. Yeah, I think it would be better to err on the side of caution here. Yeah, there's no way he'll reach me. Yeah, he's put himself in a vulnerable position. Yep, we got him. Okay, I think that was the right call to make. The only downside to that is no replenishment here, but that's okay. That looks bad. Um, it was, I might have been able to win it, but I would have taken tons of damage. There they are here. So they're going to be recruiting from there. If they haven't already. Didn't think about that. If they go and occupy forest, that's not good. <laughs> uh, whatever. Alright, so here's a problem. This one over here is definitely going to be recruiting. Right? Can't be ever at will. So they could go and attack Forest. Forest is tier 2, so it is worth something. Okay, there might be a way for me to do something about this. If I finagle this just right, I might be able to make this work. Now, I'm fairly sure that Tic-Tac-Toe will run away. I was wrong. Oh, wow. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, we want Cetra to get the uh, experience from this, so... Now the big downside is that my reinforcements come in from behind them. But I don't care about this army. I can easily replace it. How do you feel like some of the Game 2 factions will stack up to some of the Game 3 factions? I think it'll be fine. On campaign, more or less. I think it'll be fine. Anyone know if it's possible to revive Snitch? I know, and you can't. You can't revive Snitch, it's impossible. If he's dead, he's dead forever. All right, another thing that they might do is just rush at us. I am undefeatable. We'll see. See if they send some units over that way. Okay, make sure you're... Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Uh, okay, these... These two here, keep them alive. Go, go sit near the edge. Okay, good. They're sending garbage. Well, not garbage. They're sending some Mournfang cavalry over here. That's that's fine. We got the high ground there, so that's good. 
Alright, I think in this instance here, it would be best to use Net of Amentok as opposed to Banishment. Slow down their approach. Fuck did I press? Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm um, not too concerned about tic tac toe. Actually, you know what? Just single cast tic tac toe. Sure, we got incoming over here. I think that was basically a miss. Oh no, it kind of annoyed them a bit. That's that's okay. Reading here. These heroes out of it here. You know what? It might be best if we don't wipe out Tic Tac Toe in this battle. So the other guy can get the trait as well. Hey, which way are you shooting? Shoot over here. I'm gonna try to get rid of these Fire Leech Bowlers. They're doing a number on me. Yeah, we would not have been able to handle this with just Cetra. I'm glad I withdrew from that previous fight. Alright, there we go, we won. Oof, messy fight. How much of a boost do you think the hybrid lords will get from 10 extra skill points? Yeah, it'll help them. It's not like it'll turn them into, like, super powers. Um, it'll definitely help. Marathi, Malekith, Balthazar, Geralt, those kind of characters. Manfred. Yeah, they'll all benefit from it. Healing if I can. Good.
What are the exact criteria for being able to establish trade? Is it capital to capital? In Warhammer 2, yeah. Uh, you just need a direct link to their capital one way or another. Through roads or through uh, sea travel. Alright, bit of damage, but we're okay. I will take the money. And the 10% campaign movement range that goes with it, which is very nice. Let's go here, might not have enough movement now. Yeah, he does. Okay, that's good. I think what I might need to do at the end of this turn here is disband this entire army. Oh, I'll lose the archers. Oh, I can transfer them into into Cetras. Um, and recruit something at Fyrus because I feel like a lot of troops are about to hit here. At least this has crippled the um, uh, Tlaqua. Alright, you stand there. And it looks as though we might be able to reach there as well. Let's just sack it again. Why not? Should be an easy order resolve this time. Were you surprised there were no respect button in Warhammer 3? I was very surprised by that. It seemed like, like a given that it would be there. Given how popular it was in Warhammer 2, I just don't understand why they didn't do it. it baffles me. There we go. Alright, yeah, we can still get that. We never tire. Legions move. Okay. Any more Charnel Valley Necrotex? No, we didn't get any from that. That's annoying. Oh well. Alright, good. We got him to rank 5 as well. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, now we're going to have to be making a few transfers. Cetra is going to have to force march. Okay, let's have a look here. So we need to transfer two archers over. So merge this one into this one. Get through the inexperienced one. And these two here, well, um, hmm. Okay, maybe merge this one and this one. And I'll bring in these two units of spearmen as well. And these two will just have to be transferred into an army at a later date. Okay, then we get rid of him. Okay, you'll do. Then I can disband him. Because I have to re-recruit him over here, because of obviously our army cap. And just recruit... You. And we need Regiment of Renown. This will prevent them from launching the attack next turn, because I'm fairly sure they're recruiting a lot of troops. Okay, that'll allow Cetra time to go and uh, hunt them down. Yeah, I shouldn't have attacked that. I should have just killed them when I was there. Uh, Sacrilad, Sacrilege did a uh, became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Okay, cool. Yep, that worked out. Almost got your chariot. Almost there. Alright, good. Cetra gained a level up. So the Restless Dead is a really good ability. So every time that uh, we cast, we can revive some dead models, maybe. Alright, Magic Line's done for now. 
Maybe best to go with some replenishment. Oh, actually, go with a skeletal steed. I can do both. Yeah, that's good. And Necrotect can have increased mobility. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now this turn it should be a lot cheaper to build this. Yeah, it's about 300 cheaper. Cool. That's finally finished repairing. And... Still nothing else that I really want to build. Don't need to upgrade this. Let's just get rid of him now. That's all I wanted him to do. Uh... Whatever. Alright, what are we doing next? This guy who leveled up. Oh, we can get both. Cool. Yeah, I don't think I'll need to order any more Regiment of Renown, because they shouldn't be able to recruit too much. I like it when Legend is scathing. Hmm? Okay. They should be bringing back Rapunzel in the next turn or so, as well. Alright, I've done everything that I think I can now. Let's move on to the next turn. No, sorry, I need your trait. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, if we if we didn't do that, she probably would have attacked Virus. Oh shit, Arkan got wiped out. Oh well, I don't really care. The chances of us winning with this against that would be pretty low. Cetra can reinforce, but if I go in I wouldn't be able to make it. Oh which the channel this one here blocks, doesn't it? Yeah it does. What's the chances he can block her? Nah, it's not worth it. Hmm. Arise, my warriors. I, I need this guy to beat her somehow. Dwarf's declared war on trade farm lady. Okay, don't worry, I won't let them get over here. I won't let them do it. I need you to scout down here a little bit. Thanks for letting me know. I, I didn't. I, I barely ever pay attention to this stuff, even though I should. I right, just leave him left this turn. Okay. Um. Hmm. Obviously, I could use the movement bug, but I try to use that as sparingly as possible. Man, she able to recruit six of them per turn. She'll probably get a whole bunch in global this turn as well. If I put Cetra here, she won't be able to cross over. But then she'll probably just run away. Unless... Unless we set up a trap. The 
you weaken Cetra enough to make it seem like Rapants can win. All of the best units need to go into this army here. And leave nothing but garbage in Cetra's army. Hmm, I've put too many units in here. Hmm, okay. I could disband some of them. Hang on, I'm just trying to figure this out. Take all the rubbish. Okay, hopefully she'll make the attack. She's recruiting more units. Yeah, that seems pretty likely that she would make the attack. Alright, this guy here is cunning, right? Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. Um. My father demands it. Come over here. This way. So yeah, we got a 50-50 chance of ambushing her. Oh, if I do this, it's 100%. But it, she could always pull us out of ambush. Three grand. Three grand. But it'll give us research rate if we pull this off. So it might be worth it. Alright, what if we disbanded these garbage ones here? Make ourselves seem even weaker. Yeah. We really want to make sure she attacks us. Of course, there's no guarantee this uh, ambush will um, succeed. Because she's fairly close to him. We just have to wait and see. So it's just big fingers crossed there. Oh, okay. That's uh, interesting. Alright, yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Alright, we're trying to get to tier 4. Don't worry about Xandri. It's just not important. Okay, 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 okay. I think I've done everything that I can. But yeah, then we need to rush over here and get rid of these fuckers. These idiots as well. Oh god. Gotta keep Rapunzel alive. I need that research rate. It's more important than territory. Uh, Chris Shepard did a 10 pound super chat. Been watching for a couple of years now and I love the content each time. Um, started a Katep campaign last night so this was ironically well timed. Thank you for your hard work. Alright, no worries dude. Thanks for super chat. Hope it helped. If you change ambush success chance, do you need to get out of ambush stance to get back into it? No. No. I refuse. Okay, moving on. Just have to wait and see what happens. What does it say? I'd love to do that, but I would take a big reliability penalty from that. So no. Come on, don't pull me out, don't pull me out. I spent three grand on this, don't pull me out. Yeah! You got bushed, bitch! Good, that'll give him the trait, right? And then we can tag him out and get the trait again! We have to not auto-resolve it. Fantastic. That worked out perfect. Well worth the... The uh, 3,000 investment to guarantee a uh, ambush there. Well worth it. Aren't Tomb Kings the weakest faction in the game due to their crappy units? No. Having crappy units doesn't make a faction weak. In fact, in many ways, it's a strength. Now, weakest faction in Warhammer 2 is currently Norska. Like, I'd even say so, go so far as to say that the dwarves are weaker than Tomb Kings. Cool. 
Main thing here is don't wipe out Rapance. Wait, you take reliability penalties from getting peace? Yeah, if you declared war on the faction and you peace out within 10 turns by, by any kind of peace offer, you will lose reliability. I can prove it too. I'll, maybe I'll show you over the end turn. Uh, after this turn is over. If I accept a peace treaty with Tlaqua, I will lose reliability. But if you've been at war with them for 10 turns... Now, if they attacked you, then you can get a peace treaty whenever you want. It's very stupid. Very, very stupid. I believe it's still in Warhammer 3 as well. Because, here's the thing. The way the game works is that it's hard-coded for you to, uh, if you cancel any treaty within 10 turns, um, it's considered dishonorable. When you declare war on someone, you're actually establishing a treaty, and that treaty is war. You know, that's, who designs this shit, you know? <laughs> but that's just how it is. Just fucking... Someone at CA comes up with these just bonkerly stupid ideas. You know? Who comes up with this shit? And yet, despite all the stupid ideas that are in Total War games, they're still great games. Could be a lot better, though. But make sure we don't wipe out Rapunz. There you go. What was the name of your older channel? Uh, Filthy Frank. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, no, it's just called Legend. Pretty funny, it was like, that's PewDiePie. No, I'm just kidding. What happened to that AI? It's ambush defense AI. They're always really passive. Alright, that worked out really nicely. Okay. Now we just have to hope she doesn't run off too far. Because she might. Oh, I think she's just staying put. Good. We should be able to catch her again. Lord Recruit rank is so useful right now. But it cost me 40 jars, which isn't really a big deal. Yeah, sacrifice them. Does that last, what, 10 turns? Where is it? Oh god, I'm blind. There it is. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, so what we got there is... Rate, um, end of an errant research rate plus 5%. And it stacks, even if they're disbanded. That's what it's there for. Okay. Oh, hang on. Be before I showcase it, I have to make sure I save again or else that event won't show up. Alright, this guy here needs to get out of here. Um, but just move him up a little bit more first. Mm. So Rapunz gets wiped out no matter what. As long as we you know, actually beat her. Kick this guy out. Doesn't need this. Uh, just grab somebody who is not yet at tier 5. You'll do. So yeah, 
Um, I know you can't see it from here, so I'll just pop that down. 97% research rate, right? Yes. Picked the wrong one. <laughs> Stupid boy. I'm tired. Come on. Come on. There we go. So now he's got it as well. Research rate plus 5%. 102%. And which will still apply even after um, he's been disbanded. Now, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna forewarn here. Alright. I'm gonna load the save file immediately after doing this, but I just wanna showcase what happens. Alright. We declared war on them like four or five turns ago. So unreliable! Peace! It's called Total War Hammer, not Total Peace Hammer. How do you use the movement bug, by the way? Uh, you... Daisy chain bumping into uh, agents, and it gives you back your movement. Back in Rome 2, when you were strong enough, you could get paid by the IA to join war against one of his enemies, and get paid by the other faction for peace in the same turn. Yeah, but you'd lose reliability, I think, if you did that. All right, I want my army back, please. We shall reign supreme. Small military presence coming in from there. Okay, which way are we going to go? Again, comes. Your kings. All right, well, we just, we just need to do a little bit of a swap first. Okay, don't need that one, or this one. Get back this one. Actually, the Keptra Guard does belong in Cetra's army. Alright, that's correct. Right, this guy's got to get back over here and continue recruiting. <clears throat> get rid of this shit. They're supposed to be used in an emergency and it's no longer an emergency. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, you can swing back around over here. Yeah. Alright, Cetra should probably go and sack this before heading back over there because there's no army there at the moment. He should be able to reach that next turn. And you two... Back in over here. I thought they fixed that movement bug. They did in Warhammer 3, it's fixed, but not in Warhammer 2. <laughs> they introduced way more movement bugs in Warhammer 3. Uh, let's see here, what do we need? Restless minions is good. But I was trying to work towards the magic line a little bit. Alright. Which of these spells is useful? None of them, really. Uh, we'll go with that one. This one will have to do. Village priests have me wary. Wait, what? Oh, I must have had two levels up. Okay, now this guy here, we need to kick him out 
for... Oh no! Oh no! Shit. This doesn't apply unless you recruit a new lord. Which means in order for this to work... Ah, crap. I have to disband him. I can't do it this turn because of the freaking... Ah, shit. Yeah, that doesn't apply to um, lords that you um, switch out. You've got to actually recruit them. See, if I recruit them from scratch, they'd come in at rank 7. Right. Well, that just means for the next few turns, Cetra's going to be on his own. Oh, well. What are you going to do? Right, I gotta get rid of this dude over here. See, Father, I command. Young goofed. Yeah, well, it's. Just couldn't remember that shit. It's, it's only a minor goof. It's only a minor goof. I just can't get that guy out of the army. Just miss out on one turn of it. It's not a big deal. Alright, I've done everything that I can here. So yeah, we need to sack this before um, before they raise another army at us. Hang on. You got the trade on end of an errand? Yeah, yeah. So he can just remain disbanded now. Alright, I'm glad that they recruited their next army there. The AI only ever recruit one lord per turn. So since they're seemingly wanting to recruit them there, um, we know they're not recruiting them elsewhere. Oh, I should probably check with uh, Malagorov, see if he wants to give me some more money. Probably doesn't, but I can always check. Uh, what happened here? He should be able to make it there. Alright, looking at Malagor, do you want to give me money? He doesn't hate me. Nah, I'd have to give him some money first. I don't know if it's worth paying him 450 to get 2,000 back. Well, I can't join any of his wars because we can't negotiate with them properly. Just, just have to wait to see how what happens. All right, so this one here, come out, and you need to be disbanded, which you can't. Great. Will that work? God damn, I have to recruit a new lord. One of these guys here, in order to disband him. Now I recruit a new lord, and they, we can recruit them at rank 7. You know, getting the benefit of the uh, ability there, so that we can really uh, make use of the, uh, you know, of the full life. Maybe I shouldn't have even done that, in hindsight. Oh well. I think I forgot to rename that dude. Okay. Because, yeah, we're still five turns away from getting another army. I can't see myself getting any more research rate in the meantime. And we definitely need to put a stop to this, and then we need to put a stop to that. Okay, it might also be in our best interest to attach those other heroes here. Not not this one. Would it not be better to farm the legendary Lord of Clan Scryer? Yep, it would be better. It just takes longer to get to him, and I'm not going to go travel all the way over here to fucking shit fest. It's just, this is more convenient, but yeah, getting Clan Scryer would be, would be better, technically. Alright, bring this guy over here. Yeah, we got we got incoming. I will not Should handle that no problem. All right, this wizard. Get rid of another one of these. Try to get him leveled up. Only the. 
Okay, I think they're... Oh, shit. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, tree win became a new member. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, we can reach Kofor again next turn. It is at tier two. That's very unlikely they're going to get to tier three in that amount of time. All right, I really need more Tomb Scorpions. That would be great. Not that I can recruit them now, anyway. Uh, might as well just recruit units, even though I'm just going to disband this entire army. I don't think I got any Canopic Jars either. You have to remove the Architects to get new ones? I don't... No. I did remove them, I think. Let me just check. Yeah, we didn't have any on us. Alright, let's also have a look for this. No. Okay, get rid of this too. Okay. I suspect so currently gaining 36 Canopic Jars per turn. When's our next one of these four turns? Okay, cool. Because if we combine that, then we can we can also grab Petra the Great Father, which will allow us to recruit Tomb Princes at higher level. Get them up to scratch quicker. Yeah, it's growing faster. I just need a bit more time. We'll get there. Okay, and... Where do we go? No, don't worry about that one. And move on. They keep recruiting new lords over here. Alright, they said they didn't recruit a new lord over there. That's good. Those will all be knights errant. Alright, I can't reach that one. That's okay. Hmm. Wow, that's a lot of garbage coming this way. Thing is, though, I don't have that much... Spears. I got rid of them, most of them. Alright, as long as I don't stand around here, we should be fine. He can't reach us. Could really use that additional army right now. Over here, just keep an eye on some stuff. Onwards, legions. But yeah, we gotta stop this one from creating a large army. Alright, so suck it. Oh, never mind. Never mind, they're coming in to reinforce. Good, we can wipe them out this way. Good. But I might have to fight this. Now, nah, order will be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, this guy is not going to be able to launch an attack on me now. Are you planning to unstream the Wormuth after my update? I do intend to do a new Slanesh campaign uh, once the update hits, but uh, do you guys know when the update's coming? Because I don't know. Alright, good. We've already got Immortality. Yep, get those more Canopic Jars. The sooner we get our Canopic Jars going, the sooner we can get more armies. 
Because I got enough money for it. Also, putting a prince outside the settlement can be very useful because that way they can't put them into the settlement straight away. Hmm. Because, yeah, if I want to use this, I need another freaking 500 of them. Which won't take that long at this rate. No, we're not there yet. Alright, let's upgrade... Al Haik, because Fyrus could come under attack at any time. I usually don't build walls with Tomb King Kings. Okay, get rid of this dude. Cool, and just leave him there. Mm, it says I can't reach it, but sometimes. I'd probably be able to reach it if I force march down here. He won't be able to attack me. He'll probably sit in Lashiak. Yeah, let's do that. That way I should be able to attack Lashiak next turn. This one will probably sit there. Good. Cool, alright. Alright, let's move on. Do you know if Vampire Coast have access to knowledgeable at all? Yep, all three of their heroes get knowledgeable, but their lords do not. So, it's theoretically possible to get 300 knowledgeable characters as uh, Vampire Coast. Although, I don't think it's possible to actually get that many Mongol Haunters and... Um, Gunnery Whites, because you have to have 99-ish uh, Pirate Coves. And I don't think there's that many ports in the game. I think they're going to sit here. Yeah, good. That's fine. Did the Dwarfs end up at worth both Bretonians? No, just Rapants. If the Dwarfs show up over here, I'll kill them. Uh, Al Haik having its buildings damage won't cost us that much. Reducing construction costs right now isn't really a big deal because we're just not building much, so just do this. And then just repair it. Just It's not, it's not a big deal. If you must talk at me in your crude language, if you must, I make no promises as to the outcome. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Okay, that's fine. And over here, we can see that they have recruited five additional units. Find my harem. Hmm, okay, I might go grab that. I'm gonna spend dude anyway. Land of the dead. 500, 500, whatever. Sorry. Lugosh became a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Okay. Another dude here. He means nothing. So, yeah, currently we have 46 Canopic Jars coming in per turn. I suspect ill intent mm. behind your honey. The grass smells on me. Not in this world or the other. Okay, now we gotta go down here and smash up Lashiak. I'm not gonna sack it, I'm gonna occupy it. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. We're a little bit damaged, but our single entities can be healed. And we'll just bomb the crap out of them. Let's do this. I think there's only about 45 ports. Yeah, well then that... Explains how what's the limit is then. 
Have you ever thought about doing modded videos live streams? Yes, but they have always performed bad. I've got like a... I've got a really bad track record with mods. They just don't do very well. And the thing is, I don't actually enjoy mods much at all. But you do get a lot of people coming on asking for mods. But every single time I do a modded anything, it always just performs like crap. And I just don't enjoy it. So I just don't do them. You know, I'm always under a lot of pressure to cover mods. But I just, I really just don't want to. Okay, yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble here. Yeah, it's a little bit messy. Just try to bomb those guys. Alright, let's bring them over here. Yeah, try to get rid of all the archers so that our archers can come in here and sort it out. Uh, good, we can outrange the mounted yeoman. They weren't strap covering mods, it is. Yeah, look. It's it's a difficult one because some people absolutely love mods and they can't under they can't play this game without mods, and that's totally fine. But I'm just not one of those people. In fact, it's the opposite. I whenever I play a modded campaign, I lose interest faster than I do in vanilla. Yeah, it's just, it's just to each their own. But I don't think anything I do can get people to stop asking me about covering mods. They're just always going to do it. No matter how many times I explain it. Oops. So how they do. Yep, they both got good number of skills. Alright, just got to get a little bit more regen on these guys and then we can send them into melee. I doubt the mounted you men are going to be able to do anything to Cetra. What about you? You're on a... Hmm, I think I should keep you out of it. Or we can bring our archers up now, because they've, they've still got a few archers here, but not much. We should be able to clear out them and then um, get a bit of a skirmish going. I'm sure the respec mod pulls view is fine. Um, I just don't need it. Just don't need it. Just it's best to just keep it vanilla. Especially in this campaign, what do I need the respect mod for? There's no confederations.
How do you not like what I like? Yeah, I know. It's very tiresome. <laughs> it's very tiresome. Right, people who's new to the channel? Yeah, I find that hard to believe though, because <laughs> there's not new people to the channel. The channel is just not going anywhere at the moment. Would you use a mod that replaces the symbol of a Skaven food to a wedge of cheese? No. That's, that's stupid. Sorry. Alright, let's just send these... No, no, not you. Send these two in by themselves. Should be fine. What do you think about Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate? I don't know anything about it. I haven't tried it. Um, I don't. I just don't know anything about it. Uh, Blaz Lopez Deal did a five year super I miss so much these siege maps. Oh man, what an indictment of Warhammer 3 that is. If somebody's saying that they missed the Warhammer 2 siege maps, which was possibly the most criticized aspect of the game. But yeah, thanks, Super Chat, dude. Appreciate it. Maybe, 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 maybe too much. Let's move out. Maybe I went in a little bit too deep there. Should be very close to the army losses. But I just... Don't want these two here getting killed. Alright, so they got some units up on the wall here. Why don't we try to get them with this? Uh, Scashman101 became a new member. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Thanks. Oh, man, they're wearing me out. There we go. Got him. Alright, that should be fine. First time here, hearing, sorry, first time I'm here and hearing your opinion about mods. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, it happens all the time. It just gets very tiresome. That's all. Are you going to go down Cetra's melee line this campaign? Um, I usually don't focus on his melee because you have a limited number of. Spellcasters in the game, so well as the Tomb King, so you might as well make Cetra a spellcaster. You can get more value out of his spell casting than at, out of his melee line, because I actually usually don't attach a um, spellcaster into him. I put the spellcasters into other armies. OK. 
Okay, let's do that. Brock, if you became a new member, I appreciate the support, dude. Thank you. And yep. Served me a knife. Now death. Okay. Three turns until a new lord shows up. New army. Alright, these guys here, they declared war on me. I'm gonna get a peace treaty with them just because I am too busy with too many other enemies. So, just get them off my back. Now, I've only been at war with them for a few turns. You know how I didn't lose reliability? It's because they declared war on me. Because I gotta contain this area here with Cetra. all good so far. Let's move on. I feel like our expansion is getting a little bit slow. Like I should be a bit further along now. But I really kind of got bogged down in this sort of situation here. The last few turns. Still, at least our research rate is above 100%. So that helps. Okay, moving on. I think what I really need to do is get to 800 Canopic Jars as quickly as possible. I need more armies. I feel so limited at the moment. What happened to your second army? I disbanded it to do Canopic Jar Cheese. Yeah, it wasn't defeated. I disbanded it. You favor Cetra's magic line over his martial prowess line? Yeah, because you get more benefit out of his magic line than out of his uh, melee line. Uh, I'll explain it in the next turn. Um, okay. So here are some things to keep in mind. Alright, the, the Tomb Kings cannot get that many wizards. Right? So, instead of attaching a wizard to um, Cetra, you can attach it to your various other armies, right? You, it is impossible for you to have enough um, li uh, what's it called? wizards to attach into every single one of your armies. It's not possible, right? You know, at max number of wizards, max number of armies, you'll, you'll have more armies. You'll have some armies that just can't have a wizard, right? But Cetra is a wizard, so when you attach a wizard into his army, you've got two wizards in there, right? And it's sort of better if you spread them out. Now, looking at this, now he is a um, Nehekaran wizard, and he is not anything special about him. But if you look at the value that you get out of um, the melee line, it's not really that big of a deal, right? The thing is, you can go down the full magic line, get everything else, and still go down most of the melee line. So you'll probably just miss out on, like, Desert Strike, Over My Dead Body, and a couple of these. But you can still put some of the points into melee. Giving him uber duber super chat um, stats is not worth only being able to cast Jaff Incantation of Cursed Blades. Being able to have Arcane Conduit, Sekhmet's Incantation of the Skullstorm, um, being able to have the Wrestlers Dead. All of that is more valuable than having just a bit of extra stats. You represent the Lord Nehekar, you're telling the law, tell us that the law shit. It is, it is shit. But this is the thing, even a shit law of magic is still better than, say, 10 points of armor or a few points of melee attack. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. If I come right here, I might be able to attack it from there. Uh, you get out of the way, because you can actually block us. Not in this world or the other. Yeah, it was kind of worth a shot. 
Okay. So yeah, the reason why I had to disband my army is because I've only got two, and in order to do a particular cheese, the Canopic Jar cheese, which we really need to do, I have to recruit and disband him every turn. Because if I just replace him, he comes in at rank two. That's because of this event here. This event doesn't apply at all when replacing lords, so I have to disband him. But we'll have a new lord coming in soon. Yeah, they're building back up. But it should just be garbage. Alright, this guy here, I want you to... Attach, because you're pretty close to getting a chariot mount. And I gotta keep an eye on these guys over here. Yeah. Oh, I think they recruit another army elsewhere, because that, that doesn't account for their strength ranking. But that's okay. It's okay. Like I said, two more turns. In fact, next turn we can start recruiting with the army that we replace it with. Because, yeah, it's really important to get those Canopic Jars because there's permanent bonuses you can get from it. As opposed to just getting one city, which doesn't really provide that much value. Generally speaking, early game cities for Tomb Kings doesn't matter sh like much at all. Not one bit. Does recruiting just ban trees work with Sphinx Limit? No. No, not with Necrotex, because they're heroes. The character has to be alive. Did you see Zerkovich last video about how easily make Warhammer 3 fun again? Just download 100 mods easy. Yep. My problem with that, I think that if I was to download 100 mods to make the game fun, I still feel like I would prefer Warhammer 2. You expand a lot slower with Tomb Kings than other races. Any reason? Yes, the slow expansion at the start because the Tomb Kings don't gain a lot of value from lots of settlements. So what I'm doing, rather than... Ex yeah, each settlement is just not worth that much, right? So rather than gaining a whole bunch of terrible settlements, which is what a lot of players do, and they just end up getting fucked but through overextension, we focus on getting our research rate up by defeating Rapants. Ah, fuck. I'm going to have to kick Cetra out of this army. It'll only be for five turns, but I'm going to have to kick Cetra out because Rapunzel is here. Um, that's okay. Yeah, and getting things that will be beneficial throughout the entire campaign. And if you do this stuff in the early game, you can massively expand later on. Uh, Salar Atah Atahar did a $10 submission. Thanks for all you do, Legend. I always played easy mode, but with your help, I'm enjoying the hard mode now. We play as dwarves anytime soon. Um, I would never say never, but they're not on my to-do list. But thanks for the chat. Alright, see. Yeah, don't put that one. This one here will do. What? He just kicked out Cetra. Oh, no. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We need that trait. Research rate plus five percent. Okay. Now we need to leave this dude behind right here. Okay. I need to recruit a new army here. All oh, right, can't be this turn. Um, I have to get rid of this guy. Yeah, I have to get rid of him. Recruit a new army here. Yep. Okay, he needs to massively just get his shit together real quick. Because he's going to take over the Sac City here. And next turn we can uh, create another army. Cool. Okay, yeah. Um... Yep, that's fine. He means nothing. Uh, 
yeah, skeleton chariot. That's good. A good servant. That's good. Let's get that. Do dwarves have the slowest growth rate of all settlement races? Uh, I think the Tomb Kings kind of do. It's just that the dwarves are kind of hurt more by it. Alright, just, uh, just leave him there. This actually might be a good idea. If I get them to declare war on Tlaqua, I could relieve a little bit of pressure on me. But I may need to go to war with... I might... I, actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be going to war with them anytime soon. Oh, they got nothing. Oh, well. Um... Oh, this is interesting. If I make them my vassal, the AI might prioritize attacking them. It'll also pull them out of these two wars. My will. Okay. Go and take Bel Aliad. Okay. Yeah, I don't intend to keep them there forever, but uh, that might be useful just for the time being. Alright, this guy here. Um. He needs to stay here for another turn. I think one of these armies is making their way up here, but I'm not entirely sure. That guy has to stay there. This okay, they're no longer at war with the with Rapan, so that's good. They are at war with uh Sudenberg, that's good. Alright, maybe just put this guy in camp stance. And we'll just see how things play out over the next turn. I may need to recruit the Lord here. And um, just get some emergency units, whatever I can find, even if I need to recruit Regiment of Renown. Again, I don't know if they're available, let me just check. Oh, one is available. But yeah, I gotta have some intel over here. I'm not sure what's going on. I, I don't know what happened to that other army that was here. It's probably heading towards Firus. If they end up taking Firus, no big deal. Um, but yeah, we've almost got this under control here. Yeah, I thought that they were moving up this way. Okay, that's fine. I don't think they can reach Firus next turn. No, sorry. I need to keep farming you. What's the hero's positioning at the sack city doing? Ah, right. That's a good question. What it does is it prevents them from actually standing inside the settlement after they've been recruited. That allows me to actually defeat Rapance twice every time she comes back. So instead of getting 5% every 10 turns, ah, uh, 5 turns, I can get 10% every 5 turns. Alright, we've got access to a new army, and we're getting really close to our, our army via um, the Mortuary Cult. This is probably going to besiege this. I think I need to, um... Hmm. 
Let me just have a quick little look over here. So Al Hayek's garrison is stupidly weak. If I recruit anything from here, yeah, they can't reach there. If I recruit anything from here, it's just going to be cancelled. So we need to recruit from here. What happened to Cetra? And shit, maybe the skeletal steed in this situation here would be better than nothing. Because, yeah, this is an emergency now. All right, we're going to need them. All right, let's have a look. Oh, God, I don't want to hire garbage. Just uh, sack this again. Okay. Now, I think what could happen here is if I move to about this position, this guy might force march over here to try to kill our main army rather than attack Al Haik. It's a bit of a risk. It's a bit of a risk. But it's one that I kind of need to take. I'm going to need to cancel the global recruits here. Because this guy needs to come over to, to Kofa next turn. To begin the sacking. Where's Cetra? Alright, get me a Cambrian War Sphinx, please. Yep, cool. Okay, they're not that much stronger than us. But yeah, I've got to lure these guys away. Do items that reduce enemy magic resistance like Skull of Rarakos stack if you have multiple? I'm not exactly sure what that's what item that does. Sorry, what that item does. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It depends. If the if it's reduced on the campaign map, it stacks. If it's reduced on the battle map, it doesn't stack. That's the easy way to... Um, to decipher it. Okay. Another thing that we should do is get access to more heroes. Starting with... Campaign movement range. That's not a hero, but yeah. Campaign movement range would be good. Let's do that. Ooh. Do that next turn. Yeah, do that next turn. Not this turn. Okay, I need to get rid of this guy here. And probably recruit him here. Just temporarily. Okay. So yeah, hopefully they, they go for this. That's what I'm hoping for. They can't reach him. Okay, you're free to recruiting global. Because yeah, it's an emergency at the moment. We got um, we got these damn lizards coming at us again. Um, building walls here might help a little bit. It doesn't provide a big benefit, but it's better than nothing. You can always just get rid of it later. Okay, moving on. They did it. They did exactly what I wanted them to do. Now we just have to hope I didn't screw myself over with this. Can I win this battle? Yes. Wow! <laughs> okay then. I was not expecting that. But I will take it. No! Zandri's tier 1! Yeah, this is why we didn't put any investment into Zandri. It's just a weak point. 
That's okay. Them retake oh, sorry, them taking Zandri, not a big deal. The main thing there was Pharis is actually worth more than Zandri. Well, actually, having Zandri is worth it a little bit because it does provide um uh, growth to the province, but that's okay. We're not going to lose growth. I'll just need to get over there and stop him. But yeah, I can't believe we ought to resolve that in one. Oh, look at, look at that, look at that, did you see? The Greybeard's prospect has just declared war on Tlaqua. Yeah, losing 40% income from trade is going to be like one gold. Yeah, it's barely anything. Don't take my precious jars. Alright, that means everything's okay with you. That's good. There is nothing that I can do to stop that now. I, I don't have enough regiment for now available. Alright, now this guy here. Oh, what? They're supposed to not be able to get into the settlement. You need to stand a bit closer over there. There's eight units in there. And they should still be damaged because we sacked it last turn. But I got nine units here. Um, what do they got again? Yeah. Is there any regiment of an unavailable? available? No. Alright, I may I may need another unit, because this what we've recruited there is trash. Yeah, even this one here is not terrible. It will delay us recruiting another army, but I kinda just feel like I need to do it. What? Okay, at least I can order resolve it, so that's good. Okay, and then you get back in there. Alright, starting as of next turn, we could... Uh, maybe start... I don't know. Okay, you can cancel this now. I know what to do. I know what to do. So we're going to disband him, because while well, this is still active, Lizard Sacrifice for three more turns. Oh, we've also got this. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Bird Cocaine... Last name. Their tenure is super chat. Thanks for providing us with great content. Although you are experiencing more crappy days at the office in the current situation, you're a legend, legend. All right, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's been a tough couple of months. All right, get rid of him. And now we can recruit lords at like rank 12, 11. Prepared is a good trait. Cetra's back in three turns. So in case you're wondering, if you showed up, Cetra didn't get wounded. I tagged him out. Because uh, we had to get a trait from Rapunz and he was there. He already had it. So what I'm thinking here is that um, this guy recruits those troops. Force marches over there and provides it to him. Yeah. So that way he, this army doesn't get, like... Constantly getting weaker. Open the casket of souls. So yeah, there's nothing we can do to save Zandri. All I can hope to do is retake it. <coughs> Excuse me. Any chance I could... No, no, I can't get him over there. Oh, whoops. Probably should have fought that manually. Oh, well, it'll be fine.
Okay, good amount of replenishment there. That's good. Okay. Okay, okay. I think we, yeah, so we're going to lose this, but I don't think we're going to lose anything else. I don't think we need to finish this off, since I can kind of protect it now. So I'll cancel that. Just don't think I need it. What if... No, nope, there is no way for me to get him to peace out unless... What the fuck? What the fuck? I can make him a vassal. But the problem with that is that then he'll go to war, back to war with this, so no. We have to keep Rapunzel alive. If any of Vlad's defeat rate, yeah, that'd be really useful. Yeah. Alright, get rid of you. If we're lucky, he'll just sack it. If we're lucky. But yeah, there's no hope of actually winning that. Um... Right, research. Let's have a look here. Uh, Thutep of the Third Dynasty would be really useful once we've got this all stuff sorted. Alright, I need extra capacity for Necrotech. Actually, let me see what's available. There's a Scorpion Carver immediately available, so I want to get that. Okay. I might go and occupy this. Okay, but we should have a good rhythm to this soon, which will give us loads of research rate, allowing us to, um, to sort things out. Cool. Also, there's no reason why we couldn't maybe merge one of these archers and grab this. This is our main army, for the time being. Actually, I could have just cancelled that, but we do need some front line. Yeah, that's fine. Don't care about the settlement. Don't invest in it. Because we could lose it. I just got to get Tlaqua under bloody control. The only reason I declared war on them is because they were threatening Rapance. Don't threaten my research rate. Now they're not at war with Rapance. I just need a regular peace treaty. Do it? No, it'll backfire if I do that. Oh no, my trade agreement. Anyway. You lose one trade agreement, the game gives you another better trade agreement. I'll take that. Yeah, I, uh, I, mean, I don't want them to take that, because we can't confederate them. Oh, look, just let them take Bel Aliad. I need to get over here and stop this army. It's not dangerous. I know there's gold here. I'll just get it eventually. It's not like gold is worth tons to the... Why didn't they recruit a new army? Maybe I'm standing too close to it, though. Yeah, we can just order that, it's fine. Nehikara will be mine. The king moves. Okay, then we stand back a little bit. Go into this stance here, and this guy is able to transfer the units over. Good, we can provide regular shipments. Oh, stupid thing. Regular shipments over to them. To sort this out. Okay, good. 
Yeah, we've only got to do this for two more turns. That's good. And we... Good, we didn't lose the Scorpion Carver. That's good. Uh, recruit it over here and transfer it into that one for uh, experience. Because that's, uh, that's that one's going to keep sacking that pretty much forever. Alright, now. When is Cetra coming back? I think it's two turns. If I'm, Oh god, it'd be easy to check this way. Yeah, two turns. This army here should be able to beat Tic-Tac-Toes, because it's just full of skinks. There's not that many Pterodon Riders. No military presence there. We should be able to beat it. So, I'm going to stand right here and allow him to, uh, to give it a shot. Cool. Cool. We damaged them a little bit. Cool. Okay. Alright, we need access to more. Let me see here. Yeah, more Lich Priest would be good. Okay. My glory. What? So yeah, what should happen real soon is that Rapants will be um, standing outside the settlement, making it a lot easier to uh, to get the trait twice. That's what I'm hoping to do. Looking good. Took a while to get this organized, but now that we've got it organized, as long as no one interrupts us, we should be fine. Alright, what else have we got going on? Um, okay, get rid of this dude here. My king. Actually, I might recruit him here, because that dude, um, might run away. The land of the dead. Cool. Let me just see if I can get Clan Scrite, where is it? <laughs> to join war against Tlaqua. Yeah, I could. I don't really want them to interfere, though. Hey, no, not. hey, these guys are still around. I can't believe they're still alive. Give me some money. Need to get more rulers tolerance to carry any more trustworthy lords. Hang on, who likes me? Rack after this, yeah, of course. I will, I will cancel that eventually. Just not right now. Okay, moving on. Look at King I Love Jars, the seconds upkeep per turn here. What? Do we have upkeep somewhere? Alright, did they... Yeah, they just stayed put. Top knots are finally gone. The day of comes. Mm, you really do need replenishment, so I'll go with. Yeah, losing eight growth not a big deal. My will be done. Address me as your highness. Cool. Yeah, see how it's standing outside the settlement? That's what we want. Um, should just be able to auto that.
If I bring these guys in, we'll have stronger auto resolve power. Oh, yeah, you'll have to stand there. Because we're not going to be very good at manually resolve. Not really. Although, if we kill her... Hang on, hang on. let me have a look at this. Ugh. Could attach this hero for extra order resolve power. Because this guy here needs enough... Oh, no he doesn't. Right, just swing around a little bit more to, to here. There we go. There we go. Minimal damage, comparatively. There we go. Okay, you stand right. Hang on. This guy here needs to go into the exact position he was before. Yep. You stand right there. Go into encamp stance and transfer those units over. Oh, shit. And the fucking movement. Well, I'll just have to... This will disable me from being able to go into um, that particular stance, but it's fine. I think Rapunzel is coming back next turn. Alright, this is the last turn that I need to do this. So that's good. Because after this, the recruit rank is going to go down significantly. Good. Alright. Power in life. So yeah, by doing all this, we now have 65 Canopic Jars coming in per turn. We're almost able to awaken a new dynasty with that, which is going to be good, because i got enough money. This is why I'm not building the, the other buildings. It doesn't provide us any value. Another army would be really handy. All right, now this is going to be a little bit tricky, I think, because we don't have Cetra here just yet. Um, Address me as your highness. They are still there. Legions, move. Land of the dead. Oh shit! We still win an auto resolve. All right, let me have a look. Look, if no units get wiped out, who cares? Will be mine. That was a great auto resolve. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Does the punitive trait stack if there are multiple lords that have it in a battle? In a region. But yeah, I think so. I think it stacks. Yeah. Um. Get the growth. Yeah, it only needs to be in the region. I think. Alright, that was good. Yep. Right, now we got to swing back around over there and uh, resume. Uh, let me see, how many uh, Channel Valley Necrotechs do we have? Because that's another thing that we're trying to do. Where is it? You got one. Let me just see. We've got... Oh, actually, I'm not sure. So give us an idea. We've got one, one two, does not three. He means nothing. Is that it? One, two, three. Yeah, I've only got three Channel Valley Necrotex. Okay. That's not enough. We need more. Because that's reducing the construction cost by 45% of those particular buildings. Don't need to do any of that right now. Okay, that's finished. That's good. Yeah, we're getting there with the growth. 19 turns, we get to tier 4. Woo! Actually, it'll be a little bit faster than that, because it's coming in. Alright, increased capacity for Tomb Princess would be good. Yeah, Cetra's coming back next turn. 
All right, cool. This guy here needs to keep recruiting. Cool. Transfer those units. But yeah, that's the last turn we need to do that for, I think. Did Tetra die? No, I, I um, replaced him because I needed to get Rapunzel's trait, and he already had it. It didn't end up making any difference that uh, Cetra wasn't here. Not a bit of difference. To slow down his um, leveling up, but he's already pretty high level. So by putting points into public order, we're slowly increasing the public order, which is giving us, well, it will eventually give us extra um, uh, tax, not tax, um, uh, growth rate, okay. Alright, let's go with uh, growth here. I just need the settlement to develop a bit faster. Public order is fine, so we can get rid of this as well. Don't you also need that special dynasty lord to do the building cheese? Yes, yeah, but I can get him whenever I want. Thutep. He's ready to go. Yeah, we can get him whenever. Yeah, that guy's good as well. Get him next. Okay. How many China Valley Necrotex are you aiming for? Um, can't remember. I need what, whatever it takes to get it down to 0%. Okay. Can Tomb Kings Confederate? No. There we go, it happened. Look. Rapunz is out here with outside the settlement, so I have to fight the battle manually, because if auto resolve it, she gets killed. After we sack the settlement, we can attack her again. Now this one here doesn't have the trait, so that's good. Because if we attack the settlement, she can't run away. Cetra's back, so kick him in over here. Hang on, get all this shit off. There he is. And we gotta fucking leg it over to here. Right, they're not gonna have anything that can stop us. Now, I might actually occupy Martek. Maybe? Okay, when can I cancel this? Five more turns. Because our next target are these idiots. I usually prefer Martek as the... Uh, City. Um, hmm. Alright, we gotta do this first. Touch, touch this guy. Alright, we gotta fight it manually. But there's nothing in here that's particularly difficult. 7 Charnel Valley Necrotex in Green Territory for free builds. Yeah, but there's other things you can do to reduce it as well. Um, yeah, I can, there's like an edict that you can do to reduce the cost. So, just ignore Rapunz. She'll be the most difficult thing to deal with. I'm not too concerned about any of these units getting wiped out. Oh shit. So I told him to move as well. Yeah, just send units one at a time at it.
Because she got that bloody explodey spell. Can you rename Regiment and Renounce? Yeah, I think so. If you can rename him. Ah, Repance is so bloody strong. Get him out of there. Because if he gets wounded, he doesn't get the trait, even if we win. Yeah, he was not getting the advantage on her there. Funny thing is, this is one of those rare situations where fighting the battle manually will probably end up doing more damage to us than if we had auto-resolved it. But we have to fight it manually so that Rapunz doesn't get wiped out or else it all goes to waste. Unfortunately, she's, she can just do so much damage. Try to focus as much as possible on destroying the army rather than her, because she can wipe out so many infantry units. Yeah, we just need that army losses. She'll, we'll eventually win. We'll get there. Just keep on at, at it. Uh, TK is clearly Spearman, exactly the same stat-wise as Vampire counts. I think so. I'm not entirely sure, though. Get in there. Just give her a couple more taps. I'm sure she's very close to getting wrecked. Just need that army losses. Come on. There we go. There we go. Let her go. Alright, bit of damage. We're okay. Oh, decisive victory. Okay. Let's see if we get close victory otherwise. So two units got wiped out, but that's fine because uh, we've got reinforcements coming anyway. And this is where we get that research cheese. Yeah. Research rate plus 5%. Then we kick him out. Take off the items. Okay. Just do it with somebody new. This one here will do. Oh, this guy's not new, but he needs to get leveled up anyway. Just make sure he doesn't have it. Yep. Cool. Now, if I bring a reinforcing lord over here, he can't get it. Only one person can get it at a time. Um, another thing that you could potentially do is just sit there in ambush dance. But you have to successfully ambush her. Because if you attack her next turn, um, she'll probably run away. So, you can try to finagle your way around this. But without a 100% ambush success chance, there's basically no way to guarantee that you're going to get it constantly.
And then we get another one with it. So that's 10% extra. And that's why we put that hero here, so that she can't get back into the settlement. Alright, and then this one. Transfer that over. Shit. Um. There we go. I think we're in better shape now than we were in the beginning of the turn. Alright, then we get rid of him. Alright, so that'll just continue. Hopefully without too many problems. Wait, did I forget to rename that other dude? Might have. Okay, then the next thing we need is somebody to sack city this so that we can get Channel Valley Necrotex. Buff my ass off at Legend of the Wall, the thumbnail of your throw video today. That's good, I'm glad you liked it. That's for uh, a live to please. Okay, cool. I thought you'd find it funny. Doesn't really bother me too much if they come over here and capture it. The main thing here is that I just don't have it. So. You know what, it might even be a better idea, rather than going after Martek, why don't we tell them to go and take Martek, don't worry about the Channel Valley Necrotech stuff right now anyway, and we'll come down over here and take Tlacra and just be done with them once and for all. And then we can focus on these guys here. That might be the best course of action actually. Because they should only have two settlements, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll go over here and just finish attack uh, off. And they might be ascending an army over to Lashiek. It's fine, whatever. We'll figure it out. Cool. Alright, let's have a look at heroes. What do we got available? Nope. There we go, we got another knowledgeable one. Good. Bring it over here, because that one's gonna power level it up. Good stuff. Alright, now, what do we need? We've got research rate of 90%, so it's not too bad for researching another dynasty, but we'll have another one via the, uh, the mortuary cult soon. Um, no, not yet. What are some of these? What are, what are you gonna get out of this? Nah, none of those are important. Thutep's important, but let's just focus on that. Okay, if all goes well, maybe next turn we'll be able to increase our army capacity. Maybe. Alright, cool. Construction, still waiting on growth over here. Rushing tier 4. Yep, just leave Lashiak, don't care. She's just got to scout around a little bit. Make sure there's no surprises coming this way. Okay, let's move on. I swear you're pulling more cunning heroes than every Skaven campaign come on. I know, right? Nah, I just want you to die. Euphoria is the second most watched HBO show ever behind Game of Thrones. Wow. Oh, yeah. I haven't watched it, by the way. Maybe I should. Oh, no, you better fucking not. You better fucking not. They're ignoring my order. They're 
they're clearly going after um, Rapants. We may have to just like keep it under siege, or d you know deliberately lose because you know they're our vassal. It's a downside. They don't fucking listen to what I tell them to do. You fucking idiots. You're supposed to do what I tell you to do. Don't go after Rapants. Whatever the case is, he can't possibly reach here this turn, so... Let's just get rid of this. But stay close enough to... If he does come over here and attack, then we can, do, you know, force a defeat on him. So just stand there in a camp stance. And we'll find a way to get rid of him. <laughs> Every time I'm trying to do this cheese, somebody's standing in my bloody way. If it's not slack words, damn vessel. Do as you're told and take Martek, you fuck. Alright, we gotta get down here. I don't care about Sudenberg. I don't think we should force March. That would be a big mistake, I think. Use him to scout ahead if we can. Yep. And while we've got the incantation of Tahoth for one more turn, let's replace him one last time. After this, won't be able to do it anymore. Cool. Ooh. Army number four. Alright, which I think we should recruit here. Alright, who do we want to level up? Who's got a good... Uh, yeah, we want to get people up to rank 5. Ah, shit, whatever. I'm probably using Global anyway. Yeah, you stay there. One turn. Okay. Vassal's never listened to order, it's useless. Yeah, but we can prevent him from capturing Kofa. Like, if he stands right here in Force March stance, I'll attack the, the settlement and deliberately lose, so that he gets wiped out. And he can fuck off. And I'll be cancelling his Vassal status real soon. That's why I didn't re-establish trade agreements. Stupid dipshit. You gotta listen to my orders, or else you die. Still, it was... Kinda useful. Oh, not really. I don't think that vassalization was useful. Alright, there's nothing really important to build. That's a big thing with the Tomb Kings. Just because you can build something doesn't actually mean that you should. Because a lot of their buildings just have no value whatsoever. Yeah, that's it. I can't really do anything else. Rename knowledgeable? I don't need to rename to knowledgeable because they're all knowledgeable. Alright, so what are they doing? Come on, just go over there. Alright, yeah, yeah, they're listening, kind of. They just sacked it. Okay, that's fine. They can't get to Kofa this turn. Okay. Alright, change of plans. <laughs> we have a change of plans. Do we? So I think that this dude is going to force march over to here. So I'm going to besiege the settlement but not attack it. Rapaz can't come back anyway right now, so it's fine. I'm going to besiege it. Wait for this one to force march over here. I'm going to tell him to go do it. It's a trap. I'm going to stab him in the back. <laughs> Skaven style. Okay. 
Okay. How strong are Tlacqua? Oh, they just got wrecked. We gotta, we gotta leg it. We gotta leg it. Now, 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 now. Go, go, go. Uh, we'll, we'll reach there regardless of whether we force march. Yeah, suck my ass. Let's have a look. Okay. Good. Okay. I don't think I need, uh, where is he? This one here now. Get rid of him. Not getting too many of the, uh, Chariot Masters. I've only gotten one so far. But yeah, after we declare, after we've dealt with Plaqua, the, uh, the Greybeard's Prospectors are next. Alright, again, there wouldn't be anything to construct. Even building the ports is just such a low-value building. Just don't bother. So we just have to hope it's not under siege. If the Greybeard's Prospectors are besieging it, I will attack them, because I want this settlement as pristine as possible. It's probably tier 3 or 4. No, don't standard march. No, you're supposed to force march, you bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Don't, don't fucking listen to me. Alright, I'll tell you what, before I um, cancel their vassalage, I'm, I'll declare war on Greybeard's Prospector so they have to fight them. In fact, maybe I should declare war on... Yeah, it probably did this turn. Right, let me have a look. What's going on? Alright. They're doomed. So yeah, I will declare war on Greybeard's Prospectors now. Drag them into it. And tell him to go over there to Martek. Because I got shit over here to do. Alright, seems like we can order resolve this. Oh, uh, it, it looks like it got sacked. It's probably tier 1. Yeah, uh, tier 2, which means it will be tier 1. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Alright, that's the end of them. Now, if we have a look at their strength ranking, it's pretty weak, so I don't expect a counter-attack. Vulture Mountain's tier 3. Okay. Well, we inherited a really shit region here, but that's okay. Look at the Skull Army name. What's the Skull Army? Sorry dude, what's the Skull Army? This one? Yeah, you're gonna have to be a bit more specific. What the fuck is a Skull Army? Alright, yeah, you're gonna need to recruit a bit faster. I will not disgrace my ancestors. For the creator God. Rogue. For the wisdom of Belaya. 
Yeah, I don't know. What are you, what are you talking about? El Calabed? I don't know what you're talking about. The city to the Britannians next to Cetra. What am I looking at? Sudenberg? I, I, are you talking about them? I can't see what their army name was. Why was it something funny? If it was, I, I can't see it right now. I must have just missed it. Means Schoenberg. Right, right, I see. Well, I can't see it right now. It's too late, I can't check. Ah, that'd be more useful. Good, another immortal one. Yeah, you're just gonna have to tell me what it was named because it's it's past now. I command. I keep my own counsel. All the luck that I got at the beginning of the campaign is completely dried up. Just not getting the traits we want. Alright. Alright, alright. Let's move on. What's the name of the army? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to it. Lord's name was Theon Hole. So... <laughs> okay. That was really worth disrupting the stream for. Do not invoke the gods around Theon Holes. That's the name of the faction leader. Alright, we'll go after them then. It doesn't matter if they go and take Jalik Oasis. We need to focus on these guys here first. How much longer will I stream today? Not much longer. Okay, there is no way in hell that an army full of skeleton spears would stand any chance, even against a couple of um, dwarfs. No chance whatsoever. Okay, I think we can justify upgrading Fyrus. I think we can justify it. We've still got a good amount of money. Alright, did we get another... Nope. Another cunning one showed up though. That's nice. Vulture Mountains, where we're going to want to hit. So yeah, that's uh, really irritating me. But if Sudenberg comes over here and captures these two territories, then I don't actually need to cancel this vassalization. <laughs> um, if they do that. So I need you to go down there and do it. But yeah, in the meantime, we've got it. I reckon um, these guys have come to besiege it. Alright, let's come to here. Okay. Alright, that'll have to be fought manually. I think that's a good place to end today. Um, yeah, I'm getting pretty... I'm just a bit worn out. I've been streaming for six and a half hours. Time for a break. Uh, I think we had a good start, and then it just sort of slowed down a hell of a lot. We really don't have many settlements. Um, we've got decent research, right? We get a decent number of armies, which is more important than the number of settlements. Um, having loads and loads of territory as Tomb Kings is not a measure of their strength. Um... Let's go chuck a host over to somebody, and, um... 
I don't know about... I'm like in two minds about streaming this again on Sunday. Because, yeah, it, uh, I'm, it's weekend now, so we have Friday and Saturday off. Uh, so I'll be back on Sunday. Like, the turnout was a little bit lower than I would have liked, but you guys heavily supported the stream, so I'm probably going to do another stream of it. But, yeah, it's so hard to keep people interested at the moment. Um, anyway, let's see who we, sh who we can chuck a host over to. Alright, let's chuck a host over to... Let's chuck it over to Skaven Dan today, who's live streaming Slanesh. I don't think there's anybody streaming Warhammer 2. Alright, so here's a link to his channel. It'll be in the chat. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the campaign so far. Um, I'm leaning towards uh, returning to this on Sunday, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how we go. I'll think about it. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys.